Hi everybody, and welcome to another special edition of Elkin Stars. And how much can we screw up? Um, so we uh, like intentionally crash landed. So does it count as a crash landing? I don't think so. To recap from last time, maybe I should just read what I had. Whatever it is. Okay. To recap from last time, there was an assassin on board okay no the engineer of the airship was trying to dismantle the engine and got caught and it turned out that there were two assassins on board as well beside that saboteur and there was a monstrous fly fungus creature who started eating the assassins so we had like three encounters at once and obviously the players lived so uh now they are settled for a moment on the desert floor and i'm sure nothing weird is going to happen and they'll be fine and get back on the airship and leave and they killed the four assassins that were in the secondary airship that was following them so now they have the primary airship that isn't theirs but they also have a hot air balloon <laughs> so i don't know what they're gonna do uh before we get started we are ninth level uh nobody with sensitive ears including kids need to be present go away we uh, deal with adult concepts, and we play the way we want to, so fuck it. Um, <laughs> I hope that was after time. Is that the 30 <laughs> seconds at least? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I have an NPC in the group. It is... Ow. You know what? This thing is painful. It's a sharp skull ring. I'm dumb. Ow. So we are... There is an NPC with the group. Unfortunately, there's multiple NPCs with the group, so I keep forgetting them. Like, does anybody remember the scorpion tail headed lady? Yep. I don't know. I was going to say that she was just like in a bunk the whole time and didn't come out until she realized that you landed, and then she like walks out onto the deck. What is her name? Shadow Sting. Oh, yeah. She's the. The secret society. Yeah, section. where we have to take the gear to. Right. Uh, all right, so there's also Edmund, who's my actual proper NPC, and Chad, who is the leftovers of John's old character. And so he's going to get, like, paralyzed and sleep spelled out of combats until I get to the point where he needs to do something. Because I didn't make him, and I don't want to play kineticist. That's the most complicated NPC I could play! 
That's worse Chad. than an Oracle. Chad's my bad. So does that mean Chad has pot armor that we can just put him on the front line of every fight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is on a mission from God. <laughs> he has to say Gad, though. Okay. From Gad. So if you guys want to introduce your characters, you don't have to spend a long time doing it, but let's start with Robert. Hello, I'm Robert. I'm playing Sir Lynn, the halfling noble. What were those quotes uh, about? What were those quotes about? I, it's, it's just a nervous <laughs> tick I have. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you following along at home, there might be something a little off about Sir Lynn. You probably figured it out by now if you're paying close attention. Uh, but yeah, uh, he no, is a halfling swashbuckler, and uh, he likes to flaunt his coin and flip around gold pieces to tips of people. And he, he flips around chance. his body, too. He's very nimble. Yeah, he, he's quite bouncy. Uh, Red Devil, if you would, please. I'm Red Devil, and I play Nimoy, the witch who has a familiar cat that also lives in her head. She also likes crafting a lot. And currently the familiar is gone, which I hate. Fuck. Yeah. Have, have everyone, have, everyone have a long rest. <laughs> you know what? Fuck. No, that sucks. I was going yeah. to do something, but like, I want you to be able to have your resources. Maybe I'll just say it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't complain. Well, if he were flying, could he turn into shadow form? I mean, if I he mean, were falling. Sure. I don't see why not. Would that save one from a fall? Wait, does he have to steal someone's shadow to do that? How does that work? Uh, let me see the ability. I'll tell you in a sec. Uh, where I have to find pets. I just realized his name is familiar. His familiar type is familiar of ongoing misery. Yes, that fits. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, become shadow. Transforms its body into barely tang- tangible shadow. Gets resistance to all damage except for. Uh, so it doesn't have a physical body. It can slip through two inch uh, wide or one inch if it squeezes. Sorry. Uh, it doesn't really say whether it has to be on the floor or not. I would imagine he probably just turns into shadow and then falls with resistance. What's the action cost? Uh, one. So if he has time to do one action. But it doesn't say that he actually weighs nothing or that it affects falls. Game rules are really specific no, about no. that. No, doesn't really say anything. Um, He's intangible, whatever that means. He... It doesn't say he's intangible. Mm-hmm. Barely tangible. That's not intangible. Intangible has... Oh, well, barely. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's different. <laughs> um, but we could say that he fell nearly to his death and recovered from his dying condition on his own, and he's royally pissed. Isn't that's, he that's fair. Yeah. Or he's he's a cat and he's down to eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to keep track. You have to keep track. That's going to be annoying for everybody. <laughs> All right. So I'll say that he'll catch up shortly because I don't want you to be without him. Like. Constantly, it sucks. Let me guess. How do we go back to where you guys are? Oh. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, there are other people here. Right. <laughs> right. Morg, would you introduce yourself, please? I'm Morgan. I'm playing. I can't hear you, Sonny. Nope. We can hear you a little bit. There you go. Yeah, loud. Can you hear me? Yeah, stop taking the microphone. Hi, I'm Morgulain. I'm playing the elf rogue turned ghoul named Kazik. Who is fugly as hell and doesn't really, like, he's not chummy with anybody in the group. He's just like, he's here because he was here. I mean, he's like hopped on the air. Yes, so well, I know. We know what his purpose is, but he's not like friends with anybody. 
Not gonna make him friends. He's got four for charisma. It's fine. Really? Yeah, he's got a plus four. He does. Uh, uh, John, you're here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm John playing orc. Uh, no, not orc. Playing uh, Raven, the orc <laughs> vampire thaumaturge. Dragon. And dragon. Slightly dragonborn ish. Has some dragon blood. Uh, and that's that it. That was <laughs> I like how you've succeeded, Nick, in basically having just as much uh, yep. as many things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I have a he's more. I have a familiar too, and my familiar is a flying cloak, yes. which is an animated object as well, which has more benefits. But also, if like magic doesn't work in the area, he doesn't have a familiar. So if I use it to fly and magic stops, I'm fucked. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, you'll heal. You'll just hit really hard first. Oh, that's a good point. If you use it to the fly, does the wild magic apply to that? No. Or no? Okay. It's not right. a spell. But the dead magic zone would. By the way, I don't know if it matters, but I cannot seem to add my familiar token to the, the could, actual map. Could you change his hit points if they are zero? Maybe that is why? Perhaps. Let's see. Yeah, you're the owner. I don't know. Hey, tell us in the comments if you guys watching play uh, any VTTs and if it's Foundry or Roll20 or, or what you prefer to use. And what you don't like about it. Yeah, I can seem to add. Yeah. He's not there? Okay. There. Oh, thank you. He's dead. Oh, I zoomed off. I zoomed in on his head more because you need to see the hat. You, he needs a close up with the hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, anybody watching, I will try to keep the map centered. If it is not centered, please say something in the chat because otherwise, I might not notice. All right, so you guys just killed four assassins, and you did like there's no, there's no other danger. Jesus, that's weird. Okay, so uh, oh, that's right, Sir Lynn got shot to hell, but then you guys killed the assassins. I was right, <laughs> dying three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have we eluded them? You yet? have not. And do uh, do they have loot? I think they have loot. I did make them lootable, so you should be able to. Oh, within the interface? Yeah, I don't know how it works, but go ahead and try. Yeah. Ooh. Concealed holes. Uh, I mean, I can open their inventory. Well, there you go. All right, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just the little dog. <laughs> <laughs> just snagging everything. Why did I say Thunderstone? Where's my kick? Uh, you should be able to click on it, and it should tell you, can't you? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm reading. So. All right, click on it. I'm reading it. <laughs> huh. All right, I got to step away for no! a couple minutes. How do you right. do that? It's, We're loading. A sound you walk away from nice. looting. How do you just double click the loot, and then it goes in your inventory? Is that how that works? Ah, oh, there yeah. it is. I don't. Uh, know you you would click and drag it to your token. Ooh, what's a knuckle okay. duster do? It's just breast knuckles. Uh, punch yeah. him in the face. Have oh. you never played Final Fantasy? No. Yeah. I've never played anything. You know what a knuckle duster does? It I mean, it, it's like brass knuckles, faces. but I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> what does it do mechanically? Yeah. Because I'm more and more melee. I wonder if that would help me. I mean, more and more uh, uh, use my hand, my fists. I, I have a ton of bullets, by the way. Whoever wants them. Like a ton of bullets. I don't even know how many. Well, don't take the bullets. <laughs> right. them for else. Like, no, I, I looted dead. the balloon. I'm taking everything. And, and oh, they were in the, yeah. oh, oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Say how many. Okay. I, ha I had a, a ton of uh, bullets and uh, rations. I think that golden silencer would look really cool on that golden pistol of uh, yeah. Berlin. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> nice. So I don't really know how many I bullets or rations I have, but I have a ton of them. But um, Jake, 
How, how does the knuckle duster work mechanically? Is it just a, a different uh, amount of damage dice, or does it add to your damage? Do you I'm know? Ready. Hold on. Okay, we can look it up later. Not nope, too late. Doing it. I guess I could have looked it up. My bad. It's just bludgeoning does 1d4. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. No. I am my own knuckle duster. <laughs> yeah. That, there you yeah, go. you do more than 1d4 with your fists. Or yeah. Hands, claws. All of the above. All of the above. Morg, from a distance, I swear your uh, token looks like Batman. <laughs> uh, that's true, yeah. I'm, I'm never going to be able to unsee that. Oh, Thanks. wow. Whoa, you're right. Doesn't he? Oh, creepy. <laughs> it does. Yep. Oh, it's funny. I'm Batman. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Evil, isn't there like an alternative universe in Marvel or it was a zombie or some shit? It, it tracks. I'm pretty sure there are like seven zombie universes or something. <laughs> Yeah, I heard something funny about Batman. A comedian was talking about that voice, you know, that Batman voice. Said, you know, that's the that's the same pedophile voice. Hey, girl, you want some candy? <laughs> Fluffy, Gabriel Iglesias. He was saying that. Yeah, he's he's yeah, funny. Fluffy. I like him. Yep, I think it's great. Yeah, you have sixteen days worth of rations from the uh, balloon. And uh, 16 days. Yeah. And also, um, four pints of oil and fuck, a thousand bullets. Is that enough? That should be enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll give whoever wants a thousand bullets. Yeah. Who, who uses guns besides the half elf? Yeah. Is that enough bullets for us to never have a this campaign? One of us needs to invent a minigun now. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Edmund a wears a gun. gun. He pulled one out once to threaten a lock. And that's it. <laughs> it's, no, just it part of, hmm? it's just part of his aesthetic. It's that cowboy oh. aesthetic. I actually bothered to give him proficiency in it, even though he's a witch and he won't use it. It's story. It's history. You have to have that. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's right. I was going to do this at this point. Everybody, roll perception. Oh, bro, bro. I was it's doing perfect. something, but okay. <laughs> hey, let's see. You could say that she's busy and just doesn't notice. Nope, I got a roll. <laughs> <laughs> What the what? Oh, I, need... I want to roll. It says I have no token on the scene. You have to click your token oh, and oh. then roll. No, it's a new token. I I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not on the scene. It, the computer's right. Hold on. I'll put the correct one on the screen. Hmm? There. He looks so different, doesn't he? Oh, still Batman. <laughs> God damn <laughs> Now, Morg, do you have him assigned? I didn't even think of that. Do I have to do that? I do. Okay. Yeah, you have no character. Okay, let's assign a character. Well, that's kind of hurtful. Oh, I don't need a character. Player pronouns. Corpse. <laughs> it. He has pronoun it. next to his name now. Corpse. Uh, we are able to assign our own tokens um, in the player oh, okay, configuration okay. settings. As long as you, you have to configure ownership of the sheet, and then we go select which oh, okay. one we control. Well, that's a good lesson for next time. Yep. Oh, so you might know what that means. Uh, next time we do it, I'll remember. <laughs> and you guys... <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. That is oh, by the way, it's probably <laughs> best to know this, but... Uh... I know we can probably curse and all, but apparently if you say the Australian C word, you'll get demonetized with no chance of getting monetized. Australian C word? Why? It's not just Australian. Um, I know. Well, it's the C word, but they use it as like a 
I know, a different yeah. way. Like a, a, it's coming over there, so yeah. What, Crikey? <laughs> Crikey, yes. That's it. That's it. That's no, you did it. Now we're demonetized. <laughs> oh, shoot, oh, I'm great. so sorry. Get your money. Good job. Boy, Crikey. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. Perception checks. Right. God damn it. I was doing other shit. All right, perception. All right, we have people. We have Nimway, Sir Lynn, Raven, Morg. Okay, starts at uh, only Raven notices. I guess I could roll for Edmund. And Chad. Jesus, people. Fucker. <laughs> Oh, was yeah, he's not paying attention. Ship. Yeah, there you go. Um, Edmund? Edmund? Where are your cool little things, Edmund? God damn it. I keep accidentally going back to the landing page. I just like my work so much. Oh. See, that's... I'm trying to learn when to not bother using Foundry. Yeah, no, he will never notice until it is here. Oh. And Chad is busy with something else. In fact, people might notice that he sort of, like, goes off in amongst these, like, really frail-looking Akatillo and underbrush and, like, fairly large rocks, like boulders... And he's, like, bent down, rummaging with something. And Raven feels a mild earthquake. Like a truck. <laughs> hey, did you guys feel that? Hmm? What now? Like a tremor. I hope it's not uh, a it's giant probably... sandworm. Yeah, maybe we should get back on the air. It's probably shift. just a sand shifting, but yeah, we should probably get out of here. Did, wait, did anybody check the other their blimp for? Yeah, we, yeah, we took I, all the stuff. I looted there. everything there. Uh, the thousand bullets. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, out of character. Are we taking that or are we leaving that? Somebody's got to pilot it, and they have to know how to pilot. I was going to say, why don't we let the hot air out of it, collapse it down, put it on the airship <laughs> with us, and take it later? You can't. How, how long of an operation? It depends. Would that be? Yeah. If you want to go the fast way, you'll have to repair it later, but it can be done in probably a round or two. If you want to go the long way, it's going to take at least 10 minutes. Well, it's not like anybody's feeling any vibrations. Or All right, cool. Good. All right. <laughs> I walked over to the hot air balloon. Oh. I guess I'll help. But before that, does anyone, is anyone taking the, the loot that the lady has? The conceal holster, the golden silencer? I took one each. Oh, he ha she has more? <laughs> Damn you. I, Can I just have everything? I don't know. What lady are you talking about? The the, the gilded gunner assassin. Oh, I took I took it off oh, the, the one gopher up here. people. Yeah. Uh, oh. There's then four. give me that. I'm gonna be taking those because I want to sell them. They do have actual. Oh my god! It's still the gopher. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. <laughs> I gave her a new face. Why isn't she oh. showing her face? <laughs> Oh, I can't loot it because it's not dead. Oh, that. God damn it! <laughs> Yet. Oh, I saw that new face you added. It looks like Slash's sister. Seriously. <laughs> oh, not her. Wrong one. My bad. Slash? The one with the hat. Oh. The NPC with I mean, the that, hat that, that, that you added. That looks that like one. Slash's haircut. Yeah. yeah. I don't doubt. Who's Slash? The guitarist for Guns N' Roses. Wears oh. a, yeah, I don't know what you call that kind of hat, and he's got lots of hair. Yeah, top hat. Top hat. I think it's a Stetson. No, it's not a Stetson. I don't know. It's not a fedora. The brim's too wide. Oh, okay. So, like, are all of you? Are any of you not going over to the hot air balloon? Uh, Nimoy is. So I, I'm too busy Googling. <laughs> <laughs> the top hat, you mean? They, they, they just call it a top hat. I was going to. Don't bother her. She's organizing her crap. We got, like, a bunch more, like, 
standing shelves that have a whole shit ton of drawers in it, and she's reorganizing her whole damn place. It's actually really exciting because she can find what she's using now. For now. For now. I'm um, sorry. What did Red Devil say about Nimue? Uh, yeah, she, if everyone's gonna try and collapse and take the balloon, that she's gonna help. Okay, so nobody is not going to the hot air balloon, correct? I won't Jay do any of the physical work, but I will. <laughs> I'm sorry, I only heard Robert. Who else was speaking? Kazik's not gonna go. All right, I knew I could count on Kazik. <laughs> Impurpose thing. All right, so it's time to go investigate the hot air balloon. What's over there? Hey, you guys, you're not doing that right. Do it better. And uh, Chad says, "I don't even know why he needs." <laughs> it was a role play with myself. <laughs> Chad says, "Hey guys, uh, this is weird. Can you come look at this? I I got some bodies over here." Hmm. I'll go look. Okay. The ones we just killed no, you. No, no, no. Over here, behind the rocks. And now... Ah, oh, crap. Chad and Raven are linked. Oh, right, I forgot. Okay. I'll take care of that in just a <laughs> moment. I want... Oh, it's only Morg. Okay. So now Kazik also feels a tremor, and Raven feels a more... Uh, a stronger tremor. Hey, guys, there it goes again. You feel it now? No, I don't. I assume you I do don't not. with my perception. Yeah. Something's, yeah. something's okay. coming. We should take some cover, maybe. Nimue. I have a bad feeling about this. Take out her broom from her bag again and start floating like uh, 15 feet up in the sky. 15? Yeah. Okay. And I want to, if possible, climb a wall here and just hang. On a cliffside, off the ground, like a badass. I begin to walk. (laughs) (laughs) Nice, impressive. Uh, John, I'm going to take you off of ownership of Chad, just so that it's easier for me to figure out how to hell to separate them. Perfect. I'd like to hover too, but I'll uh, I'll hover at 20 feet. I'll do like Price is Right and five feet more than him. Well, once Dimway gets up to that height, she only got one less than needed, so she got a little bit higher. Um, I don't know how far off in the distance you can see, though. Shit. It's, oh, no, it's, didn't I say it's daylight? Uh, no, no, we met uh, them at uh, sunset. Uh, no, 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 we didn't. It was nighttime. nighttime. Yeah. We did wait till I nighttime. can see perfectly. Yep. <laughs> and Nimue can't see, because it's night, so never mind. I, I have dark vision. Yeah, do you have like 300 feet of dark? I was going to say, really? Of course, you have uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's Nyx, man. That's Nyx. Nimue has everything, but in a different way. All right. Uh, are they still linked? Can you try moving? Uh, we're good. Yay. All right. So uh, who goes over to Chad? I do. I'll go, but at the slower pace. Shorter legs. I got 20 foot yeah, movement speed, legs. so I'll just go closer. And slow, <laughs> Gradually. Yeah. Everyone's uh, moseying to keep with the Alkenstar theme. Let's see what craziness Chad is on about now. Uh, he shows you two bodies that look like they were camping and they're laying next to each other. I say bodies because they're skin looks like it has left like you see musculature underneath it and they look like sort of like all the marks on them seem like burns in fact it doesn't look like they have been predated on which doesn't make any sense in a desert there should be scavengers these bodies have been here for not long maybe a couple of days so they do stink but I guess not as bad. Oh, actually, it is a little bit worse than you would think. Um, who has a good perception over here? Or does anybody have medicine? Uh, give me. <laughs> okay, well, medicine. At, at this right. point, Chad's like, you know, I think aliens did it. There are these Zeta reticulans that do this stuff. <laughs> nice! 
Oh shit, Chad would recognize these. Okay. Does Chad have Chad has like oh we made a roll for that. We made a, a lore for that. Do you, what the hell is this lore? He's got a lot of lores. No, the one that we added from uh the other world. From the future. Oh, what was it? I don't remember. Are you looking? Yeah. My roll was pretty low. I got a twenty-six. Galarian history. Close enough. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a trained lore. It's going to be the same number. Hmm. Um. Fuck no. I don't know uh, if it matters, but I'm master in medicine. A master? Wow. Yep. Start calling you doctor. It's because it's rare and really high level. And it's not like something you would have come across normally. Um, but I can say that you see that they are burns, but also... Oh, okay. Well, I guess you would notice this upon inspecting them and they have burns on them. Um, you notice that they have released their bowels, because that's what happens when people die, and in their bowel leavings are organs as well. Like, their own internal... They shit their organs out. Well, they were done. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody need a spleen? Spleen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a stew going. Hold on, I'll, I'll be right over. <laughs> gross. Gross. Well, Ra Raven smiles as Chad <laughs> notices that and turns green. Is <laughs> Chad? Chad wouldn't have a very wait. Was it? Is it Raven already? Yeah, that's green? why Raven thinks it's funny because Chad turns green when he sees organs coming out. Okay. the wrong place. Chad did make his roll though. Um, do you want to role play with his response? It's radiation sickness. Okay. Guys, that's disgusting, but I think I know what it is. It's radiation sickness. Uh, You're just making up words. Probably, uh, <laughs> no radiations are real word. <laughs> Here, let me let me put it in terms you you primitives could understand. It's like magic that slowly kills you. Damage over. And we're standing where they are dead, so we're probably being exposed to whatever it is right now. What kind of horn swoggling nonsense are you spouting out, Tin Horn? I dumbed it down, man. What are you? What are you not getting? All right, there's dead people. Okay, we get it. Fine, leave them there. Buzzers will get them later. What I'm saying that that which killed them is probably slowly killing us at this moment. Well, then let's leave. Good idea. <laughs> oh, and there's another tremor that this time everyone feels. Oh, cool! Uh, I fly up. Yeah, I did feel I that. Fly one. up a bit more. It, oh, maybe it's yeah, time to that's... leave. Nobody really, really wants that balloon, do they? Uh, <laughs> we could come back and get it. We know where it is. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Nimoy's just gonna fly up the balcony of the ship and land there. Uh, that is smart. I am yeah. probably on the ground now, where I was flying, because I'm looking at the bodies. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, does Nimue have any special uh, vision things besides dark vision? Uh, I don't think so, but I'll let you know. I believe I can... Hold on. Uh, I do not think so. Just dark vision. Oh, yep, interesting. Dark vision, yeah. And dark vision in Pathfinder 2 doesn't have like a 60 foot range. It's just you can see. Mm -hmm. Black and white. It is interesting. Okay. Then, um, I guess. You know, I mean, Kaza can see insanely far with his tattoo. Then you and Nimue would notice at the same time because she's at this point, I think, 30 feet in the air. So she has a little bit of height advantage and you have extra distance. You <laughs> both see. Um, I don't know if you've had experience with them before, but like a really big hill giant. Like you notice that she's wearing a stone well as a hat. <laughs> ah, shit, that's big. Okay. Exactly. Where is it? 
So what what direction is it more or less? Northwest. Northwest. Okay. Uh, let's. I, Nemo is gonna fly back up. Uh, for back with uh, everyone and say, uh, better hurry. There's a, there's a hill giant coming. <laughs> let's get out of here. Holy shit, uh, that's oh, bigger than I. She's thought. hot. <laughs> get back to the choppers. The dead person on her shoulder. <laughs> it's built literally built different from the D and D ones. <laughs> yeah. Crowd like a, a ring. Extra thick giant. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, Radiation <laughs> and a giant. I say we go. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's uh, let's run back to the the, the blue. Okay. Uh, you guys make it with plenty of time to spare. It seems, and uh, she does come into view though as the airship is getting ready to take off. Um, it's not like the airship was actually functionally damaged, but there was gunpowder to, to like make sure it's, it's done smoldering and it's not in any danger. But that had been happening for the last minute or so while you guys were dicking around. And uh, so the captain is already trying to take off mildly, but then when you come on board... Actually, what do you say to her? Because she's just, like, dicking around with the controls. Monster coming. We need to go. Uh, uh, Captain, how quickly can you get this airship? All right, all right. I, I don't know. Give me a minute. Does the ship need any fixing? I'll go uh, ahead and patch this on, things up as soon as I can. Follow-up question, Captain. Can a hill giant walk that distance? In a hill a giant? No, we're leaving. <laughs> uh, she... Uh, says, everybody, take your seats. This is going to be a rough one. And one round later, whether you're seated or not, the ship takes off kind of like a jet. Like, it has, it does have spare boosters. So you just go 60 feet, mostly up, immediately. Cool. Was everybody on board? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> K stand. <laughs> and I don't know if there's anything that needs fixing, but I'm just gonna check wherever they burned the gunpowder. Yeah, there is, there are minor repairs needed, but nothing that's going to stop you guys. Um, but please roll crafting. Will do. Because there's actually something supposed to happen at this point, so I'll have you have a chance of noticing at least. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, 35. Of course. <laughs> okay. Um, you notice that some of the gears in the engine compartment have been melted, so they are slipping. It seems like it was some sort of industrial acid, probably what Lucky the engineer used. So there is still a sabotage happening, but it's not stopping you yet. It's more like it's going to cause issues very soon unless you replace them, and you might be slower. Captain, any spare parts? I need some gears. Uh, yeah, she's going to try and replace anything she can. Could Chad like... make metal gears with his use of being able to form things out of metal? I think that is a separate kinetic power, is it not? Uh, I, I maybe maybe for detailed things, it's a separate power. Yeah, not sure. Let me check something real quick. I think I have stupid something complex in my kineticist. That I will be able to tell you in a moment. Oh, I have a lot of tools for a lot of stuff, but no materials for this specific. But, oh, clockwork materials. I have those I, I was going to use for for making Fuck. clocks and stuff. You yeah. just spoiled the adventure. Good job. <laughs> oh, dude, brilliant. Stop the DM. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next adventure. All right, game over, everyone. <laughs> Kingmaker, anyone? <laughs> Okay, if uh, Chad has extended kinesis, I'll say yes, because he can sculpt metal at that point. 
Yeah, I'll look. Thank you. Somehow gonna fix everything that was supposed to be unfixable. <laughs> yeah. This is why she grabs everything she can. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you never know. It seems to work. <laughs> and it's Before awesome. we have divine event in intervention, just rain thunder on us and just crash the thing. <laughs> Doesn't look like he has it. Oh, no, he does. Level four. <laughs> class speed. No, maybe. Yeah, uh... you make those and I'll craft them. <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> it's supposed to be the, the ship um, is unable to go on because of a sandstorm grinding down some of the gears. And I'm like, that's a weak ass explanation. So I'm like, maybe the saboteur did something to it. And you guys were like, we fixed it two different ways. So, no. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. Well, it does well, say there's... whatever he makes is too fragile and artificial to be used as a weapon or have any monetary value. So it may not hold up. Thank you for the excuse, but that doesn't make sense oh. to me. Okay. Doesn't need to be a weapon. Like, if he can shape it into something, it should be usable. And it says he can sculpt. So you can sculpt metal, you can make cogs. Okay. I mean, hell, even if you have to do the physical forming and Nimue has to put her hand right on top of yours to control how it looks, then fine. You guys got it. Nice. <laughs> Cool tell. I'm I'm keeping my engine. <laughs> <laughs> don't no don't worry about it. It's yeah. magic. But now I want to know. That's that's what we'll say. It's magic. <laughs> what, what's the complaint? Sense. I want to know what the complaint is. Uh, gears are made out of very specific metal. Um, uh, if it's too too brittle, it'll fracture. If, uh, it's not hard enough, it'll wear down it's too quickly. Good quick thing I have a ton of small gears. <laughs> yes. But I mean, we'll just assume function. it's magic and that uh, Chad is a metallurgist from the future. It's transmutation. Extended kinesis is a little vague, but if he can conjure metal, he can conjure any kind of metal. So he can conjure iron or whatever. <clears throat> Titanium. <Listen. laughs> Very specific types of metal for different engineering applications. I believe you, and that makes perfect sense. Uh, I'll shut up now. I'm not <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're off the clock. Don't you're worry off the it. clock. You're not allowed to help. Well, we'll skip the section that's called oh, the crash. <laughs> All right, good. Are we that's screwing you up? Oh, <laughs> the crash. <laughs> we, we already did. We already did the crash. No, that was by no, the actual crash. No, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, you guys fly up into the air, and you have your spoils from the. Oh, I should mention, as you are. Uh, flying on your way uh, because if nothing else you could just drift there while you're repairing the cogs or replacing the cogs the um wow this is so stupid the hill giant tries to eat the hot air balloon it starts deflating she gets angry grabs it and shoves it into a bag on her side which is made out of I don't know a, a whale bl bl bladder or something it's huge just a whale. Yeah, just a whale. <laughs> just shoves it inside of a whale. I mean, a, a whale literally looks like a little tiny hat. <laughs> what I love is that I found that picture online, and her name is G. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Totally fits her. Yeah, it's a G. Uh, so she, basically, she steals a hot air balloon. She puts it That's in her bag. Fine. As long as bad guys don't oh, throw it at us. Um, all right, so nothing else happened with the dead bodies except they were left there. Great, okay. Um, I do need all of you to make a fortitude save. Oh boy, is what his hair falling out? Not yet. I did a lot of research on radiation sickness this week. Uh, is this a uh, poison or disease? Yes, it's a poison. Oh, I got a plus one. I might get something. Let me look this up. Dirty. Uh, 
Oh, uh, immune. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, it's a disease. I'm sorry. It's not a poison. It's fine. I get plus one to both. You got a 30? Uh, yeah. It's plus a 32. Eight. Actually, I got a plus two for... Uh... Do you want to use a hero point? It's radiation <laughs> sickness. Oh, did you say that counts as a poison? I did, but it's wrong. It's a disease. You're still immune to that. Okay. Oh, I am still immune? Yeah. Cool. Nah, I'm not gonna use a hero point. I it, something bad has to happen sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Kazik high fives Raven. <laughs> if anyone's gonna have radiation, it might as well be the Frankenstein monster. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. It might screw up your looks. <laughs> I don't think Chad can make a thirty two. He has nanites. Maybe they would help. Nope. Nope. Yay. And he's cancerous. Yay. He starts... His name was already cancerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a personality. You wanted to kill Chad? I did want to. I didn't want to kill him. Yeah. Kill him. I wanted to not have to play him. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, you don't feel anything, because that's the way this shit works. Um, Should I add something? Nope. Nope. Uh, so you are all afloat uh, 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 in the air, and you now have extra food and supplies, and so, and there's also fewer people to eat your food and supplies. <laughs> Um, so while you were gone, you know, somebody noticed the corpse with blood everywhere in her room. Um, I think nobody did anything with the guy that had his skull removed and reattached. Oh, yeah, did they? Yeah. I mean, like, they just left him there, right? Whatever happens to him, I fixed him, and whoever he turns out to be later... Oh, that's right. Thank you. Yeah. He was drugged, so he woke up later, I guess. Yeah. No, he'll still be drugged. Oh, that's right. I have him out for six hours. He's out. Um, but the... He must have a hell of a headache. Yeah. Oh, God. Ow. What would that feel like? Oh. Uh, Real bad. <laughs> the captain... What is her name? Not Phoebe. It's some other weird name. Not Manticore, that's a different encounter. It, it's close to Phoebe. Captain Manticore. <laughs> Captain Manticore. <laughs> Fira! Yep. Fira. She says... <clears throat> All right now, boys and lady, I need to speak to you. Which one of you left a dead body of one of my passengers in the hole below? Anybody? Anybody? I look around. <laughs> Was that us? What is the raven? Thanks to the plane. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, the, the the bug that was pretending to be a passenger? Yeah, we, we that, killed him and, it was, and yeah. burned him. Yeah, it was the bug. Or the bug, there was the assassin that I that I did surgery and reattached his head, and there was the other assassin that that Which, was knocked he out. He attached his head? His head was on yeah. the floor? No, he, his, uh, Only his part scalp was removed, and he had his brain exposed, so I did surgery and fixed him up. <laughs> You're daft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she says, it's kind of my thing. What about his wife? Hmm? His wife. The other lady? Her throat was torn out, and all the meat around her spine and her neck was gone. I didn't the do it. Last time I checked, that didn't happen. 
Uh, no, we we talked to her. She was, or we talked to her. She was fine when we left her room. Did we talk to her? <laughs> well, we went in. She had like the spores on her. She was she was out cold too. Yeah, she, she was she was knocked out when we found her. Yeah, we we t- went and tried to talk to her. She was unconscious, and we followed a trail of spores to the the other room where the the yeah, head but was she being wasn't moved. dead when we when we left. Her. She is she is alive right. when we left. We should ask you what the hell is going on on this airship. <laughs> What is this, Frontier Airlines? <laughs> <laughs> we got assassins. We got uh, alien plants. Yes. Now people chasing us for some reason. I was in retirement. There's no way in hell they came here for me. So which one of you bastards killed that lady? And she's using diplomacy for what it's worth. <laughs> like, she's yeah. trying to... Or not, not diplomacy, I'm sorry. She's using perception for what it's worth to see if you're lying. Yeah. They, for the most part, three of us are telling the truth. <laughs> um, the, maybe the one that's not talking maybe sound, looks a little bit more. <laughs> Edmund just shakes his head. And um, let's see how well he does on deception with just shaking his head. Oh my god, I got a one! Yeah, not wow! Great. <laughs> okay. So she shoves him. And he goes, hey, what you doing there? Mess up my suit. And uh, she goes, you had something to do with this, didn't you? Did you kill her? Listen, she was alive when we left the room. Unconscious, sure. Poison, maybe dying, but she was still alive. I know nothing about it. In fact, I'm going to go investigate. And he walks off the deck. I don't mean like into air. I mean onto the... (laughs) Yeah, he just he jumps, <laughs> jumps off, walks, it, walks the plank. I'm out the wrong way. Okay, so she turns to Chad, I guess, and she goes, "Uh, you're too pretty to do this, aren't you?" Oh, for sure. <laughs> she narrows her eyes, and then further and smiles. I'll be talking to you later. So you, Chad winks. <laughs> and she turns to Kazakh, Kazakh, sorry. And she says, I've been suspecting you from the beginning. Look at you! You're all meat and tatters. Did you kill her? I eliminated a th- Oh, God. <laughs> That's the way it says. You know, up to it. There's no hiding behind this. Can't play it off like it was the bug. <laughs> no way. He just owns up to it. I'll clean up the mess. I I got plenty of room. Pat's what stomach. did she do to you? <laughs> she was an assassin. She didn't do anything. Her potential was neutralized. You mean you killed her in cold blood? That's what that's called. We're pretty sure someone's trying to kill us and or down this airship. Oh. Right. What I did, uh, in my opinion, was justified. I'm going to question her husband when he comes out of his stupor. And if I... He runs downstairs with <laughs> his husband. <laughs> that would be funny if, like, you just turn around and run right now. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, don't eat, don't eat the guy. We... Wait. <laughs> I, I think he's dead, no, too. He's... Hold on. <laughs> Raul looks at her and says with all sincerity... Oddly enough, believe it or not, we are the good guys. Are we, though? <laughs> <laughs> That's great timing! <laughs> okay, I'm a good guy. <laughs> There's a vampire who drained some dude before he left the fucking town. He was like, bad guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, she was a bad guy! <laughs> um, I just... You don't realize that... By by definition, you can call yourself an assassin. No, does that mean we got to kill you, or because we don't just kill people because of their what they do? No. Well, I'm not an assassin. I'm a I'm a, a problem solver. <laughs> so if something's a problem, I solve it. Victoria is with you, right, Raven? Uh, yes. She she was she stayed on the ship the whole while, so she's probably she's probably never far from me. But when you said that you're the good guys, she like 
comes up to you and puts an arm around you and like holds you as if like obviously she respects you and she's okay. Okay. Fuck oh, groupie. We don't know. Hey, everybody needs fans, okay? We don't know about that guy though. <laughs> Pointing at Kaysen. <laughs> <laughs> Stand here behind his <laughs> mask. Oh, You've done him less than what? a day. She goes, oh, wait. Um, Did she have... Okay, so she goes, not only does he stink of death, but I smell spirits about him as well. You're haunted. Hmm? To Kaysen. Yeah. Like, haunted. I have the sight. I can see the spirits. Well, not see, really. I, I, I feel them. I smell them. They're, they're present around him. The odor of death clings to his soul. There's just no hope for him. Do I smell else. okay? Uh, do, do we know what either oh, of you are like a... But she goes, you smell wonderful, darling. She kisses your neck. <laughs> uh, when it comes to Raven and and Kizix, do we know what they are specifically or not? Oh, that's a good uh, point. Because we know you, you guys are like blood sucking, flesh eating monsters or whatnot, but not specifically. Uh, Raven wouldn't really. I mean, he's pale. Sure. Uh -huh. sure he wears yeah. sunglasses. He has tusks. He doesn't. He doesn't like scream vampire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you haven't seen him like burn in the sunlight. There was sun just now, so I don't think that you would assume that he's any kind of undead. Have right. Have they it's seen my different. wounds heal? Yeah, that's I, that's one thing. Oh, that's right. Nimue specifically talked to you about it or mentioned it to you while you were healing, and you said that you said to her that you were healing, and she said something in response that I don't remember. I think it was surprise. So she knows that you have some sort of supernatural healing power. Maybe you're weird in some way. But would she jump to undead? Maybe, because Geb is nearby. Yeah. That's true. Um, but Kazik, he kind of, he says un he's undead. Yeah. He smells. Yeah. Yeah. He, Why did we bring him in? He has flesh? blue flesh. He's yeah. undead. Yeah, yeah. Does it, does, he's, he's, he's got a mouth like a piranha. <laughs> Doesn't help that before, before we even saw him, my familiar called you a monster. <laughs> Oh, racist. <laughs> I mean, it's literally true. <laughs> Half of us, or all of us, are monsters. I don't even know at this point. Yeah. Yeah. To, to be uh, angry at a stereotype, you have to not currently be playing out the stereotype. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> That's just hate speech. Uh, she... Okay, so I guess the, the, the captain walks off with a stern look at Kazik. And joins Edmund, and they're gone for several minutes. Uh, I don't know if you guys are doing anything in particular, or like following them, or killing them. <laughs> Kazik. <clears throat> I don't reckon I gotta kill nobody today. I have to wait till they sleep. Uh, what Nemo will, uh, will do is she'll that? fly up a bit and keep an eye out, see if there's any danger approaching them or us. Okay, I'm going to assume that that's during repairs, because if not, it's flying faster than your broom. Oh, yeah, no, then. Man, oh. forget about that. <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, the captain isn't currently piloting. It makes sense. So, okay, you fly up. Um, you need some extra cool sensory abilities, damn it. Oh, no, she, she's the one doing the repairs. Yep, all right, so no, you're not flying. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... I'll go out to the back of the boat where all the snakes were that I was eating originally and uh, just hang out there with my dead friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if something's following us, he, he'll be able to see it. He can see four yeah. times as far. Yeah. Dark that, vision, that's all that one shit. thing that Nemo needs. <laughs> no, you got enough shit. Uh, no, I need more. You don't understand. <laughs> I'm the rogue. You're the greedy one. What's going on here? He sees dark storm clouds against a dark starless sky. So it seems like there's magic afoot, and the storm clouds are coming toward you. You can't tell how fast. 
but you're not going directly into them. They're flying away no, it's sort of, from it? Like sort of perpendicular. Like, like they're coming toward your path, and you're, like, oh. going alongside them. But they're still, like, um, I don't know, five miles out? It's quite a ways. We'll wait. By the way, uh, just uh, real quick, how do I add the macro for the compendium to have everything, just for convenience? Um, well, Jake, if you prefer, he, he does have the module where you just hit control, uh, control space, brings up a search bar for whatever you need. But to add the module, or go add the compendium. What compendium are we talking about? Like items? Yeah, like items. Yeah, the, speed just spells, to yeah. open. The, oh, yeah. on the top right of your um, your screen, click on uh, compendium packs. Top right. It's the button right next to game settings. It's a book. Not the open book, the closed book. That wasn't helpful. Yeah. <laughs> the closed book com comes in. Second option from the right next to set game settings. Yeah. Uh, it's right next to settings. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, compendium. Go ahead, type into the search bar, toggle compendium. Well, wait, browser. can't you just go to the very bottom and it says compendium browser there? Is there no button there for you? Uh, there's that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, Compendium no. Browser. Uh, but, but if you want it on your uh, hotbar, yeah, find the toggle Compendium yeah. Browser. Oh, I have there. It's more convenient to have it there. Thanks. Oops. God damn it. You know what? Robert, I can't ask you this right now because we're on stream and I don't want to ask you later because you'll be too tired. <laughs> ah, okay. No, I, I, I get that's a good point. So maybe I'll bring it during break if I remember. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's just a question about how one of the mods works. Okay. So for the rest of the night, unless you guys do some fucked up shit, nothing untoward happens to the ship. Um, there is a slight downfall. Uh, uh, sorry, slight downpour. That's not the same thing. There is. No, Rain. that's the problem. There is a drizzle. There's a drizzle of... Wow. Multicolored glowing droplets. I, I just want to point out that I barricade the hell out of my <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Um, Lockpick. <laughs> no, like, I bring extra <laughs> chairs. I drag the bed in front of the door. That I'm, I'm building a barricade. You know, I know that this is, like, not normal, but Edmund goes, Hey, you, uh, you think we could bunk up for the night? I don't really feel safe here. Uh, roll, roll his persuasion. Okay. Is there a window to that room? What's, uh, what, what would be my paranoia? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, society? Uh, <laughs> yeah, society. Well, perception is about how aware you are. Yeah, society is... It wouldn't be will. Actually, it might be your will, DC. Okay, well, yeah. I, we said will, will, DC. <sighs> 21. Uh, it's by two. Uh, uh, it'd be nice to take shifts and all, but... Um... There's a lot going on. I don't know if I trust you yet. He's a fucking master in it. God. <laughs> uh, so yeah, sorry. Bunk, bunking alone tonight. He says, all right, you have a pleasant evening. <laughs> you do the same. Hope to see you in the morning. Yeah. Well, is the captain going to say something to someone? I kind of forgot about No. Uh, the, uh, the body is gone from the room if anybody tries to investigate. And uh, I guess after most people fall asleep, so not the undeads. Wait, I have... Hmm. Kizik, I think I might have something for your appearance if you're interested, but not right now. And just, I, I can make you look normal, I think. Like alive, normal. <laughs> 
I have something for that. We'll see. May I ask what it is? Infra's elixir. What was that? Jason, a little potion. The infiltrator oh, elixir. The infiltrator one. Oh, yeah. Some... Yeah. Well, yeah. It's probably better that way then. But I have a. I have the the actual thing that right now. I have oil of corpse restoration to make you look alive. Uh, but I would prefer uh, learning it uh, or learning the recipe and then actually making it for you. But yeah, it actually makes you look normal or any dead or undead. Yeah, come on, look alive. Oh, that's so sweet. Kids, it gets to crush on Nimue. <laughs> Did you say Nimue? It's Nimue. Um, Nimue, sorry. Uh, Edmund ends up sleeping in the same cabin as the captain. <laughs> because he <laughs> failed with Chad. He rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> he can fuck with me on a deck. With my sorry, friend. Edmund, we don't say that one. <laughs> Uh, unless you guys do anything in the night, I'm going to say you wake up and do your daily preparations, and Nya is finally back. Yeah. There we go. Now he's actually back. Yeah. I kill Nya. Yeah, sure is. Well, I kill you. I kill you, bitch. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Technic- okay, so what, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say, I would, since we're in an airship, I wouldn't be able to feed. So I would wake up with oh, my, yeah, the- uh, what, drain that. two? Or not? Yeah. You have your, your groupie? Is it snacks the purpose of her being there? Yeah, but I think it I her? think I'm down two and she would only refresh one and that would be two on her and I don't wanna like kill her or anything, but but that is her purpose. Oh. Yeah. Plan out your meals. She's an emergency meal. Well we we didn't kill the uh so I'll, I'll, I'll drain some from her so that I have uh, I'm less uh, drained or whatever it is. I'm looking it up if, now. If you Nimue could opens. eat the note. Huh? No, sorry. Nimue opens her journal. It says, note to self, make a blood potion eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if anybody, oh, okay, if Raven wanted to try to sneak into where Lucky Lynx is being kept. It's literally a closet. And feed on him. You could. He's oh. been injured a bit, but not much. Definitely. <clears throat> that, uh, Guys, we need I, I don't want to kill anybody, too. but hey. <laughs> he owes us. Every, every single day, we're going to be having less and less members on our ship. <laughs> just, just call this... Yeah, I bet you call this airship like the, the Dimitri. <laughs> Oh, you mean the Demetri? If, 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 yeah. Yeah. if we're going to have this airship, I'm going to be the one to name it because I'm going to be the one driving it and fixing it. <laughs> it's going to be the ship ride, the captain, the navigator. <laughs> oh, when Yaw comes back, he says, Nimue, I need flying today. Oh, okay. <laughs> you need to grant me flying. <laughs> Uh, sure. Uh, can I give him flying, or should I? He's familiar. You can change out his abilities every day because you're a witch. Oh, that's first off heard of that. Cool. I'll do it. All right. He tells you then. I think he should tell you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I will replace. What should I replace? Imagine having to make daily preparations. <laughs> uh, I'm to I will. What the fuck does the shadow pet get? Like, what did you actually add to him? Uh, I think uh, what I added was dark vision, uh, independent, manual, no, no manual, uh, speech, and Shadow Step. Yeah, I can get rid of Shadow Step. What? No, Shadow Step is probably part of the Shadow Pet, isn't it? it pro- you can't take things yeah. away that he automatically has. I know, I, I'm probably getting confused because I added Shadow Step before he was Shadow. Uh, 
but maybe he's he probably already has that. No, I gotta oh. gotta get rid of speech or independent or dark vision. Dark, dark vision, vision is automatic. It's part of him. You can't get rid of Master's form either, Jesus. Nope. Yeah, Shadow adds most of the things I have. Are speech and independent the only things that you gave him? I gave him dark vision too, though. I'm pretty but sure. it, get, it gets it granted. Yeah. Uh, well, then, I don't know. <laughs> so would that be an open... Sounds like it. How many, how many traits can he grant me, Familiar? Uh, a few, because I have Familiar Master, but... Uh, right now I have one, two, oh, three... Ten whole abilities, but I can only really r remove two, apparently. Wait, you can select ten every day? Is that what you said? No, I have 10, but I can only really replace two, I, I think. Okay, so you don't know how many that you can have max? Uh, well, I was, like right now, yeah, the, the, the 10 that I have here, but eventually, like next level, I'm going to have two more abilities that I can give. I don't care about next level. This is this morning. I know. So yeah, how just... many do you have now? 10? Okay, and he takes seven, um, so it does sound like you have an empty slot. Oh, I do? All right. I'm going to look at him again, but I believe so. Independent. Independent and speech are the only things that he has that are not part of him. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah. So you get one more. I'll give him flyer for the time being. Nice. I, it's up to you. Okay, I don't really care how, but do you like have a specific idea for his flying? It can just be like magical flying, or if you want, you can give him like wings. <laughs> Man, what do you think sounds better? Having a little like. Uh... Shadow bat wings or just walking in midair? Oh, the tiny, cute little wings? That'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. I think that. Shadow cool. bat wings sounds cool. Yeah, totally. uh, he has shadow bat wings now. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay, well, then he, he flaps them and he goes, Oh. Oh, that's better than I expected. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well done. <laughs> and he flies around the room. <laughs> Oh, and also he lands like on a bedpost, and he goes. And did I mention I hate airships? Now, I'm not getting back on one if I can at all help it. And then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> what if I had plans to get one? It throws up on yeah. your pillow. Wakes up everyone on the entire boat. That's a hairball of magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, it's not it's not the airship itself that you hate, it's the place that we're on that sucks. <laughs> we're in the damn mana waste. Granted, granted. Yeah. Uh does anybody investigate anything during the night before you wake up? I'm asking specifically about Kazik because he seems a bit of a loose cannon and doesn't sleep. Well, there's storms coming and the rain that's weird. Outside of that, unless something catches his attention specifically. Okay. No. Uh, in fact, I think Nemo is uh, in the middle of tinkering, like uh, like in the sofa and in, in the open. And once she's tired, she just goes to sleep in the sofa. That's kind of sad, but is very useful for the group. All right, I'm grabbing all the people here so I can move them to a different map. Unless I just deleted them. Copy. Okay, good. Is this 
I think this is it. Ah, okay, be here in a moment. Does everybody see that, huh. or is it just me? Mm -mm. What, looking at what? Recall knowledge thaumaturg. I I was testing something in a macro. I didn't think that's what that was supposed to do. Did it send you a number like I had rolled? No, it's allowing me to roll. So, like for secret check. Oh, interesting. That was that was in the new macro. I was just playing with it. Sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't know it would do that. That's okay. Cancel. Ah, yes. That. All right. So the next day, everybody's up. It's a weirdly quiet day for at least half of the day. You do pass through a patch of no magic that like encompasses the entire airship and then passes. Yeah, that's probably having namely just cursing all of existence. Like, why are we here? <laughs> I'm glad the airship is mechanical rather than magical. <laughs> yeah. It'd be funny if somebody was drinking a potion right then. Fuck, I just lost a potion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, if you guys haven't done so, you can click your long rest yep. button. To get oh stuff yes. Back. I don't know where that is. It's the is bed. That Does anybody have less? Yeah, it's right below your max HP. Does anybody have less than eighty-nine hit points? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only someone got rights last game. Somebody got what? Only someone got wrecked last game. Oh, I got fed a lot of good potions. Yeah. Yeah, we no, got... Uh, total, like, max, yeah. 89 points. Yeah. Oh, max. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I don't think any of us, even the spellcasters, we we generally learn to either pick toughness or something that gives us more HP. Not Edmund. No, he'd rather deal with the demons. Oh, well. He took, like, 60 damage in that stupid trap outside of uh, Coastal Water's place. <laughs> <laughs> so does he have 89 hit points? Is that why you the where the 89 came from? He does. Uh, yeah. All right, so he's the frailest of the bunch, which makes sense because he's supposed to be like 60. All right, All right Edmund, you go first. <laughs> uh. All right. I know this is probably annoying, but I want to see what happens. Okay, so a mana storm starts. Let's see what happens. Yay. I'll be in <laughs> Firefly. Yes, Great the reference. Up. Yes! <laughs> Firefly. I love it. Three. Ooh. Really? That's a mana storm? Okay. Y'all feel heavy. As we're sleeping? Oh, shouldn't have had second. <laughs> no, this is the next day. Yeah, this is the next day. It's like eleven in the morning because nothing happens for the morning. Okay, it, then I'm gonna roll two things. That happens and something else. <laughs> if it's a random chart, I wanted to do something. That wasn't exciting enough. I we all feel. Oh fat. no! <laughs> Phantom pain. What is that? Just a weird that's thing? a that's a really bad. Damaging spell. I think that's a that's right killer, now, actually. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> that's what I have my back right now. That was funny. 2d4 mental and 1d4 persistent. Yeah, but that's boring. So let's say it's on level. <laughs> okay. All right, that makes sense to me. Um, everybody make a will save. Roll I will roll say. High, roll high, roll high. You're a caster. You'll probably be fine. Is this a hazard? It's an environmental effect, and I believe that's the same benefit for you. All right. 
plus one circumstance bonus to AC and saves against hazards. Uh, it, yeah, specifically hazards. So if it's an environmental hazard, it yeah. technically does not fit under hazard. Okay, does it say yeah. 29 saves? Like, like weather. Yes, 29 saves, 32 saves, 30 saves. Mm. 17. Yeah. Uh oh. All right, that um, that's a critical failure. Oh, whoa. Oh. All yeah, right, this... so... <laughs> Good thing you barricade your room. <laughs> As he dies. This is so stupid. Okay. Mm. Wow. Um, all right, you are sickened too, and you take ten d four damage. Holy fuck! All right. Well, there's no like fight. You're probably fine. Yes, yeah, I mean sickened. I just gotta vomit. Vomit up ten d four damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick, Nick's had the spell. is pretty nasty. <clears throat> wow. Oh. That's twenty. That's, that's about it. Yeah. A little less that's, than average. Yeah, that's half, literally. And you also take five d four persistent damage. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, that one might suck. That could add up. Mm-hmm. All right. So I take twelve and a flat check. That's weird. That's a failure. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> so, having a bad now you're looking at still barricaded? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's okay. midday. Yeah. I'd be out about. Um, pain is racking your body. Um, I don't know. Let's say this like continues for, I don't know, five minutes-ish. Until you recover. <laughs> and, uh, Oh, if you recover from... Oh, that's interesting. If you re- roll a recovery check on the second and succeed, then the persistent damage ends. Okay. So I can be making like three... Three, four checks. You can get each. medical assistance with that as well. I'm pretty sure both... I uh, can put him on his misery. Both Edmund and Nimoy have antidotes for that kind of thing. Yeah, but why use one? <laughs> Uh, 30, 30 to get rid of second. Okay, well, you're fine. That didn't last long. <laughs> There's just a giant pile of blood <laughs> on the floor there. <laughs> and then goes, don't worry about that, non. Kazik will clean it up. Kazik! And he hands you a potion. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's two breakfasts worth thank, of vomit. Thank you, Edmund. And... Yeah, so, oh, I just finished second. Are, are we still on the, on the mana surge? Yeah. It just makes you a little bit slower to walk. It's weird. Yeah, I probably don't want to use any magic to clean that up then, huh? So, what, what kind of potion did he hand me? Oh, oh, it's the 3d6 plus 6 healing. It's the elixir, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kazik rolls in like a Roomba. Ooh, cleans up. He's not actually doing that, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would have problems personally. No. <laughs> no. Unless something unexpected happens with I'm sure nothing happens. I'm going to try and uh, copy the oil of stuff, corpse restoration to my spellbook. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, you do. And I... Remove that one then. All right, so that mana storm ends, and if, uh, like, uh, okay, so, like, a few hours later, like, 3 p.m., um, you pass under a, well, I guess you'd be coming up to it first. You would pass under it, but you see it from far off. It is a landmass floating in midair that has a little cottage on it. Wow. 
that something I've heard about? Hell, before? fuck no. But you do know that this region is completely That's... mad and broken. I guess it. Can you look at that with your far vision? <laughs> Did you say horror vision? Far vision. Okay. Far, far vision. <laughs> no, he has horror vision. I agree with that. that. Could be... <laughs> it could... Yeah, it's the same thing. Who looks at with his horror vision and just sees dead yeah, bodies? To be fair, yeah, you do, you do see blood in, in red no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Does. Yep. I need to ask, does Raven pull out the green cog at any point during this day? Maybe? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I need to know! <laughs> Should that be interesting? Um, see, if you pull it out, you can roll Arcana to see if it has magic powers that you can harness. I, I gave it abilities. Oh. But if not, then it stays in the bag, and nothing weird happens. Well, if he thinks it might be beneficial, he would definitely take a look at it. It sounds like this day has been yep. pretty boring. <laughs> Give some to do. It is a pretty boring travel day. I mean, Nimue is able to just study chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Then, um, if you have Arcana, of course you do. What am I saying? I know this character. <laughs> god. Let's roll some Arcana. Yeah. Uh, you get plus one because you know generally what it does. Oh, okay. Um... I've got this fucking bird has been fighting my windows all week. 32. Fighting your windows? Yeah, it's... it's... Made a nest nearby, it sees its reflection in its territorial and it's trying to fight oh, itself. Oh, weird. <laughs> um, what a smart ass. Look in your inventory, John. Mm -hmm. it, I already put it in your bag and I just identified it, so now you can see what it does. Oh, cool. And we roll for a random surge! Hooray! Because time magic. Oh, wow. And this is not a mana storm. This is a wellspring surge. What's the difference? Um, apparently, wellspring surges are more interesting. <laughs> 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 ah, my non-magical fire! <laughs> Everybody says that. Uh, so it starts pouring actual water this time. All right. The 10 foot burst. No, it starts raining everywhere. Um, and, okay, so how do I do this? Um, I'm curious. Have Raven roll a will save. Or I guess I'm having Raven roll a, roll a will save. Oh, Raven. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> will he save? He will. I say that because I'm a master. We'll save. Oh, Christ. Okay. And when I roll a success, I get a critical success instead. Don't get wet. Have you, have you watched Star Trek Next Gen? Oh, yeah. You know that episode where um, Beverly is stuck in a different dimension that's created from her thoughts, and uh -huh. there's like flashes of white light? That's what you see, but it's green. So it's like little portals opening and closing, and then your will you realize that you're like, oh no, and you like feel your own will energy exit and it shuts the portal. So nothing Whoa. happens. In the portal. That was weird. Maybe put the cog away. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, why am I thinking <laughs> that? Anyway. Well, because it occasionally flashes with green lightning and I was curious. It's Green lightning, you think, is the best thing to have happen to us when we're 150 feet off the ground? How, how far off the ground are we? Oh, wow. Uh, I, I, I have no fear of heights. So, yeah, you're You can't fly. I yeah. should probably put it away. So, <laughs> let me tell you something about the rest of us <laughs> in heights. Uh, do you tell them anything about what you discovered about what it does? Uh, yes. 
Okay, then do so. I, uh, you know, I, I've been looking at this cog though. Before I put it up, I just want to say it. Uh, it. Uh, when someone casts a spell, actually, actually, would you explain this, Jake? Because I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's saying here. Oh, okay. God's booming voice comes down and describes the item. Insert narration. I could have fixed the ship earlier. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cog. Okay, so obviously you see the passive ability, you read what that does, and you know that, that it's easy to understand. Mm -hmm. But the activate cast a spell just means that you take the cast a spell activity. Oh, and it it let I can cast these spells through this device, essentially? Yeah. Okay. Like a staff? Yeah, like a staff. In fact, that's what this item originally was. I modified it. Oh. Nice. So it can do time sense, deja vu, synchronize, loose times arrow, and synchronize at second level. For more people. Do what? Oh. So how many times have we had this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> um, loose times arrow gives up to six creatures... Quickened for one round, they can only step or stride with it. Whoa, that's cool. Now, what is this? Says it uh, expends a number of charges. It doesn't say how many charges it has. I guess each of those once per day or something. I meant to delete that. Ah, I'm gonna delete that. So then, these are at will. No, they're just yeah. Normally, a staff, you get number of charges equal to the highest rank spell you can cast. Yeah, then you can put... But since it's, yes, since it's a cog, then I have no idea. <laughs> it's almost like it's up to the GM. Uh, the cantrip, obviously, is at will, and the others are just once per day. Okay, perfect. Right. Make a homebrew rule that cantrips can only be targeted at people <laughs> named Will. Fire at will. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> I thought that a lot while watching Star Trek. Yeah, with Will Wheaton. <laughs> oh, Will Riker. Will Wheaton. Yeah, sorry. I was immersed, man. I didn't know what the actors' names were. <laughs> <laughs> Wheaton. All right, so congratulations. You didn't destroy the airship. Woo! <laughs> so... Does anybody do anything about the, the land and the sky? Because the captain is just seeming to pilot underneath it and ignoring it. Hey, captain, what's that about? What do what, what you got floating up there? What is that? Doesn't matter. Shut up. Uh, there, there's, is there an observation yeah. deck up on top? Can I go? It, it fits like yeah. four yeah. people, I think. And there are ballistas up there. Yeah. I'll, I'll scramble up there. Get we'll go as we go underneath. Okay. <laughs> what did the captain say? I guess I babbled it too fast. I'm sorry. She says nothing. Shut up. shut up. Okay. I thought she said something to that effect. Okay. Oh, no, that's right. She said doesn't matter. I just said it in dialect really fast. I'm sorry. No, nothing to see here, folks. Yeah. She looks like she's trying to put it out of her mind and just focusing on piloting. Hmm. Uh, you gotta, <laughs> yeah, uh, roll perception, or I'll just tell you generally what you see, which is a cottage. Right. On a, on a floating a island of, er, of dirt? Yeah. You can't see the top of it because you're underneath it. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't, I mean you can't Four. see whatever the top of the dirt earth is. Like, it might be grass or flowers. You can't see oh, that Oh, gotcha. Part. Yeah. Oh, 16 for me. I still had second down. Those are not good checks, guys. 32. Oh, Raven's fine. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm an expert at perception. <laughs> Pretty so, sure. Yeah. yeah, so am I. <laughs> uh, uh, does Raven have to do everything? God. <laughs> He's a master in perception checks. <laughs> I built my guy for one thing only, and that's critical hits. Bouncing. Bouncing. Yeah. Yeah. Thaumaturgies no, are a great yeah. Swiss Army knife of characters. They really are. If I remember correctly, Raven has the eye slash as well, right? Eye slash? 
tattoo from Nick. <clears throat> I think I only had the uh, the 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 speak any language once a day. God damn it! Or did I? I mean, uh, Red Devil, do you recall? I don't recall if I gave it to you. I do recall mentioning it that I wanted to give it to you. I mean, if you, if everybody else has it, I probably got it too. Dude, you have practically no equipment. What? Wait, uh, remember you have the wings, by the way. You have actual tattoo wings, no? Uh, no, you did talk about sharing, uh, giving that to everybody and everybody having it. I just don't remember if they agreed. I don't either. I believe so, because I, I remember, like, giving everyone, like, Leaf had a uh, little uh, yeah. cabbage wings. and Yeah, so uh, he did put wings on Raven, everybody. Yeah, Raven have bat, uh, dark bat wings. I do actually remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where can you I... have, like, nothing on your inventory sheet, man. You have, like, I have money and a bag. Who, me? Yeah, you. I've got weapons and shield and armor and equipment. Okay, you have... You have weapons. You just don't have anything interesting. Yeah, I don't think I've I've transferred it all over onto Foundry yet. Oh. That's a problem. Oh. I think it's still hiding in roll twenty. Okay, well maybe you didn't get the eye slash then, because like right now was when it would be the most useful because I could tell you more detail about what you see at a distance. Yeah, I don't remember that. I could pull it up in the other though while while you're doing something else. Alright, then I guess I'll have to do something else, alright. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Okay. I'm missing everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the thing we were Except, doing. Wasn't it? Actually, it's pee time. Break time. Pee time. About seven minutes on the first one. Okay, be right back. Seven minutes. The mana wastes are a lasting scar on the face of Galarian, a strip of wasteland created from the magical fallout and the wars between Geb and Nex that now threatens both countries' borders. Racked with dangerous storms of chaotic magic, there are a few safe bastions in the desert, but people have settled in this land nonetheless. Others roam the ever-shifting landscape as nomads, their reasons for choosing such a fraught life as varied as they themselves are. Before the war between Geb and Nex, the mana wastes were arid yet lush, home to flora and fauna that thrived in the low-moisture environment and blossomed into a riot of vibrant colors throughout the year. When the dust finally settled from centuries of conflict, most of the fauna had been killed off, while the flora had adapted in strange and unpredictable ways to the sudden influx of new energy sources and the loss of others. The area has slowly grown and expanded since, its borders creeping outward a little more with each passing year. The indigenous Uruxis, hill giants, and gnolls of the region have all adapted to new ways of life, though they still hold true to many of their ancestral traditions. The gnolls and hill giants still hunt and gather and craft beautiful jewelry, but also sneak into Alkenstar and requisition weapons they then use or sell to the highest bidders. Many of the lizard folk have been forced to the surface, but still use the cavern networks for their treasured possessions and most secure holdings. Despite the deadly conditions, others have moved into the region as well, such as the Sixfold Repentance and the Wanderers, who all have some vested interest in the area. Some, like the wizard gangs, are less benevolent in their intentions. A few settlements are even approaching cities as more residents of the wastes rebuild. The town of Gitna might be called a stronghold by those who know little of the wastes, but its defenses are a necessary precaution against the region's many dangers, the most potentially fatal of which is the loss of magic. The Samsara Oasis is a living thesis for the Kalakangs of the Sixfold Repentance, attempting to right their past wrongs as integral parts of Nexus forces responsible for the Wastes' creation. The Oasis is one of the most stable parts of the Wastes due to their efforts. The Theurgist's Commune, called the Gist's Moon by most, is a bastion of scholarly pursuit for those who travel to the Wastes to study its effects. Unlike the Kalakangs of the Samsara Oasis, this research is often less about healing the land and more about harnessing the strange forces within it. A note on geography. To the average person observing the mana wastes, it looks entirely the same throughout, a warped, barren, and magically starved desert that seems as if it might collapse in on itself at any time. A closer investigation, however, reveals how varied the land still is, as well as how terrifying and lasting the effects of the war that reshaped it truly were. The sparse scrubland at the Wastes' outskirts barely supports the warped small plants and animals that live within it. 
Unlike the wildlife deeper within, few of these specimens have mutated abilities to steal and supplement the magic they now need to survive due to proximity to a more stable underlying thaumaturgical framework. Magic in the outskirts is also less likely to be affected by wellspring surges, though consequences can still be dire if care isn't taken in preparation and casting. Some say it's a cruel trick of the universe that those most responsible for creating the mana wastes and corrupting its wildlife were largely unaffected. Those who pay close attention to the desert's slowly expanding borders wonder if its unwitting creators may soon suffer other consequences. Beyond the sparse stretch of scrubland at the borders, the ground swiftly turns into a broken patchwork of splintered rock and jagged sands, dotted by scavenging plants and animals. The cracks in the earth that give way to the caverns and darkness beneath can become filled with cloying and deadly miasmas of loose and volatile magic. It's uncertain how this magic coalesces, but one theory suggests that any nearby plants surviving on stolen magic try to expel the excess into the broken earth. This loose magic then seeks out and congeals with other loose magic, mirroring water's tendency to converge in streams and pools, a twisted mimicry in this barren place. By the time these congregations of unstable magic are large enough to see, they become a dense rainbow-hued morass that sinks through the cracks of the earth and settles into the canyons and caverns below. On occasions when these caverns are shallow, an accidental fall into one will do far less harm than the effects of the magic within. One miasma pit in particular stands out as the largest and longest sustained, called Cadilliman and situated near the center of the mana wastes, its actual origins are unclear. The consensus is that some wizard, in an effort to generate a massive magical effect, pulled almost everything from the area before unleashing their spell. Neither Geb nor Nex accepts formal responsibility for the event, as the effects took days to become apparent. The first to feel the effects and report on them were Eruxes, using the tunnel network to safely avoid the never-ending skirmishes on the surface. Though the full details are sparse, their stories paint a horrific picture of painful transmogrification. Eruxi Busos and anyone who uses their maps steer clear of Cadilliman to this day. Yet even with such dire warnings, intrepid wizards and alchemists hoping to utilize such potent magic have attempted to bottle it in the tradition of the researcher blooming chaos. Not all free-floating wellspring magic in the mana wastes becomes part of a miasma. On occasion, when a spell fails in some way near loose magic that has yet to fully form a miasma, the loose energy instead becomes charged by the magic intended for the spell. It forms into what most refer to as a poison cloud, regardless of the magic it's charged with, and expels. If the spell was, for instance, Chill Touch, the cloud may be a brief thing that immediately discharges at the person who cast it with a blast of cold. However, if the spell cast was Cataclysm, one often favored by the Wizards of Nex to attack from extreme range, the effects could be multiple dangerous clouds spread over a massive area, or an enormous mega cloud that can swiftly devastate the landscape. Most who study the mana wastes and its magical effects agree that some of the most powerful, persistent clusters of clouds originated with magical skirmishes during the many long years of conflict between Geb and Nex. If they're unable to discharge quickly enough, the poison clouds sink closer and closer to the ground before forming into miasma, but they do dissipate eventually without a semi-constant source of wellspring magic to feed them. As a result of the discharges from poison clouds, which frequently shape themselves similarly to lightning strikes, irregular and naturally formed glass shards are abundant across the landscape of the mana wastes. Though the frequency of the poison clouds during the war between Geb and Nex led to much of the glass being covered under layers of sand or, and other silicates. Apparently write down my other tattoo either. My bad. I thought you had it. Okay. Okay. I, I probably did. Go back and watch a lot of episodes. Hi, everybody. We're back. We're just arguing over gear. Not a gear. Gear. <laughs> we were arguing over gear mm -hmm. before break. What the hell? Where? What scene are we on? I'm so confused. Oh god, I missed a really good I opportunity to. to uh, uh, I have a really cool magic item that I almost could have used. Almost could have, but couldn't. No, it, yeah, it's. Good I'll bread. I'll do it later. It's gonna be fun. Okay. 
Yeah. And uh, Edmund can technically have 26 of those healing elixirs every day. I just don't want to have that many. God. How the hell? Really? Took, wow. I'm throwing caution to the <laughs> wind. Because I took Al the Al yeah. archetype and herbalist, so he got extra, extra um, daily thing. Do those stack? How many can he make a day? The, the yes, because they're the for stack? different purposes. Uh, how many? I don't, wait, let me look at the character sheet. Hold on. 20 something. <laughs> it stacks to the GM says they stack. No, it stacks yeah, because they stacks. are. It, it, they don't really stack. They're like layered. Like you can make lower level stuff with yeah. the alchemist archetype, but then you can make higher level stuff with the herbalist ar uh, archetype. So he can make a whole total of a bunch of different things, but they have to be different levels. Uh, crafting. <laughs> he can make 28 things. Wow. No, wait. No, no. That's more than. Oh, shit. That's infused reagents. That's. Four times that? No, that can't be right. Is that right? Look, he's a po he's a potion vendor. Yeah, kinda. But the potions are free. Oh, I see. It's broken up. Okay, so he can make. He has fourteen elixirs of life, eight soothing tonics, and that's all the herbalist stuff. And then the alchemist stuff is lower level. He can make two water bombs, two glue bombs, and once per. Two glue bongs. Yeah, I mean he can make. Yeah, probably like a spider. He can make different bottle. stuff that just seem the most useful. That's low level. So yeah, it's basically spider web in a bottle. And he also gets a potion every day, and he has uh, electricity en energy breath potion selected. So a total of like alchemy things. It's twenty two, twenty four, twenty six. It is twenty six. Wow. Cool. Where does he keep it all? Now we all know why he's here. In big a hole in magic. Uh, don't question it. He doesn't have a big hole in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, really? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's yeah, his actually, yeah, his pet does have bottomless stomach, so that helps. Yeah. The 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 smells. Oh, uh, so the the squirrel just regenerates potions for us to drink. <laughs> Do the potions <laughs> expire that. daily as well? Yeah. Uh, the the potion? Yeah, the one potion that he makes. Yeah. Just like Cauldron. I mean, you both have Cauldron. It's just the same thing. He just tends to make it for something to feed his pet. I see. Because I wanted to fuck around with familiars, that's why. Yeah. Speaking of seeing, what do I see? Oh, I didn't look at what you rolled. Hold on. Same thing as Raven. Hmm? <sighs> okay. Four times as far. Yeah, but you're also two decks lower. I want to put. I don't know. I okay. went up there. So um, I'm gonna say what Raven sees first because he rolled first. Uh, you see motion inside the cottage, and the cottage has a glass window on three sides of it, and a door with like a white scalloped edge around the the door frame. Like it looks like a, a cute little tiny cottage for somebody. It has a roof with a, a chimney, but it's, I guess it'd be like a thatch roof, old-fashioned. And uh, Kazik can see that each of the, what would the sides be made of? No, probably not stone. Probably wood. Well, anyway, uh, you see that the, the, the walls, they're made up of really, really small snake scales. Hmm. I'll relay that back but, to the party yeah, and the ask if, if we should. Sorry, you also this. see that there is a. This is stupid, but a really small monkey that goes by the window, and uh, it looks like there are two figures inside sitting down at a table, humanoids. So it looks like it is actually someone's house. All right. The house is a house. It's occupied. There's a monkey and some humanoids. And I don't know if we should pursue so this stupid. or not. The captain seems to not be interested at all. So, Yeah, the captain's not interested. More, I'm more not like sure if less we interested. uninterested and more like avoiding it. Yeah, more scared than anything. Yeah. <clears throat> if it scares her, it should uh, concern us, perhaps. 
If she's not scared of us, oh, then yeah, okay. we should probably just steer clear. Hey, Captain, that thing you don't want to talk about, is that a problem you'd like us to solve? I'm sorry, are you talking about the cottage? Yeah. Oh. Um, she's like, what? The no! It's the mana waste! You don't fuck with anything here! Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. And then Let's she go. points off and she goes, does anybody else see a little spot of black over there? And I just keep the same perception checks. Uh, it looks like a flock of birds. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody's going to get it, though, so th that's why we're keeping it. Um, so Raven sees that it looks like a flock of birds really far fucking away, and Morg can see that they are birds that have the heads of wolves. Looks like birds to me. Looks more like monster birds. They have does Morg have any? Uh, does Morg have nature? Not Morg. Fuck Kazik. Does Kazik have nature? Yeah, it's a negative. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> so you roll it. If you describe it, uh, Nimue can roll. She has nature. So, all right. So I related to the group that these birds have the heads of wolves and antlers. Does that ring yeah, a bell yeah, with the thumb? Yeah. It's is that like a flying jackalope? Actually, kind of, yeah. And yes, fucking esoteric bitch. No. <laughs> or <laughs> 29 nature for me. God damn it. I know. Yes. Oh, okay. Um Did you say 29? Yeah. Ah, all right. And of course he has to beat you. Great. Oh shit. Morg. <laughs> I won't Morg's like, "Yeah, that's weird." <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a it's a thing. I know about him, and uh, Raven knows their entire history, though. <laughs> Let's see if there's any difference between those roles. There's probably not for this kind of monster. And these are flying like over the floating no, no, no. island. Different direction. Or... In fact, the direction you're heading is where okay. these are. But it just looks like she thought it might be a little cloud, but didn't know. So we're heading towards them. Yeah. Sweet. Um, you guys, remember we had snakes? Oh, it's like wolf shit. It's I like to think uh, both uh, Nimoy and Raven say, "I like." Oh, that's just so and so. <laughs> <laughs> like simultaneously, it is. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Hold on a moment. I do not know why I can't find this damn thing. It does not seem to be. Oh, because fuck. It's like nobody on the internet uses archives of Nethys, so it like doesn't default to finding anything there. There it is. Yeah. You have to type Nethys in. Okay. Hmm. So 29 and 32. You both crit succeeded. Oh. Okay. These are Peritons. They are vicious pack flock animals they're barely intelligent at all but the only way that they can reproduce is by eating humanoids hearts you also happen to know that they were created by the great devil Kazgaroth in whatever year because hmm. I actually read the book that they came from well if they eat human hearts um, I think we could relate I can make some friends <laughs> so if they are our any of us humans? Oh. We're humanoid, but human? He said humanoid, though. Yeah, they, they eat humanoid oh, hearts. okay, okay. Yeah, like human-shaped. Okay. Yeah. Well, but they do have to be living people, so the two undead are fine. Sorry, guys. Oh, sweet. All right, I'm going to take a nap <laughs> in the back room. You guys have fun One with of this. these days, I'm going to be considered a ghoul instead of a humanoid. <laughs> Now, one of these days, we're going to come across I'm the guy a, and clear We're undead. He's hard out. You know I can hide, right? Yeah. Or let the monster. I'm sorry. Just a moment. I'm preparing the image. I didn't think of this at first, so I didn't have it ready. I'm pretty sure you used this picture as a placeholder for something else before. Yeah, these were uh, the snakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah, those guys. Whoa. 
Oh, yeah, I remember this fucking monster. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like a little Chimera nightmare. Oh, yeah. He's got a little heart in his mouth. Yeah, and that's that so attracts. Cute. Bird, goat, uh, wolf. All right, so, um, then you, you want Nimue, sorry, you want <laughs> Nimue doesn't want pets. That was Nyx. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Well, uh, Kazik can tell that they are turning toward the airship. Maybe they won't see us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a roll high for the airship. <laughs> Hide behind what? With our, with our combined numbers, we can just stealth past them. It, it should be fine. How, yeah, is, be fine. Uh, how is magic looking right now? Oh, good question. Um, I ask my cloak and see if it responds. It does. That's easy. Yeah, it seems to be working. Nice. All right, so I relay that these things are beelining towards us. And incoming battle stations. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's use those big ass uh, weapons on the top. The harpoons? Or ballista? Ballista. Yeah, they're ballista. They're... I've never fired there. a ballista. <laughs> Is this the same, or would I have come back down before then? So mm. That's time passed since the floating island. No, not really. I mean, a couple minutes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. I didn't load a map with the top of the ship because I didn't think anybody would use it. Because there's like no room up there. Mm-hmm. Like, if you you could use the ballistas, but if you were just like standing there to fight stuff, there's two spaces. <laughs> yes. No, that's fair. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think Nimue will stay downstairs and uh, trying to see if at all, like, cast a uh, buff and debuffing spells on whatever she can see. Okay. Edmund goes, well, actually, sorry, I don't even know if Kazik has said anything about what... Okay. Oh, I did, yeah. He let everyone know that. Well, anyone in the vicinity know that. He was just like, this shit's coming right at us. <laughs> it's coming right for us. Get it's on, coming man. right for us. Put shotgun. Uh, Edmund goes, you think we got any way of making this whole big boat invisible? Not unless a spell can work on it. I guess we don't know till we try. Chad can become invisible, but he, I don't believe he can do it to us. I'm sure he can't do it to other things. Not to an airship. He's already invisible yeah. to the ground. Uh, yeah. he's, down, he's, down, he's downstairs getting Is high. Is the ship considered a creature? No. no. <laughs> yeah, Edmund has nothing for this. That's great. Okay. Should we land so they don't, you know, pop the bubble that's keeping us up? Ah, uh, good idea. Uh, someone told the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the captain thinks of that idea. I figured we were she looking starts, at all this from the bridge. Yeah. She starts swearing rampantly in Dwarvish, and she starts piloting down. Yeah, good call, Edmund. That, that answers that? You guys know your desert. I just figure, you know, I don't want to die. No, after all, we are sandwiches. I didn't want to either. (laughs) (laughs) I'm already dead, so I'm not worried about it. I really, really liked that. (laughs) (laughs) All right, then I would like to say that you land to carry this out because that's the map I have. If we land, I'll, I'll abandon the ballista idea. Yeah, I ran up to look to the ballista and was like, I don't know how to use that damn thing. And uh, if point we're click. positioning ourselves far out, I'm going to name way on the balcony of the ship, uh, riding the broom. Okay. Um, well, because they are... It, it is a flock, and you see it, it is over, like, 20 of these things. Um, 
you don't really like they're not in I guess they would be in range of like a really long range spell before they would be in like melee combat. So like do you have anything that is like I don't know Fireball? <laughs> Something Mm-mm. that's way out there. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Uh Nemo is not that kind of caster. Not that kind of girl. Oh you got yeah, my longest range spells. Jesus. I mean, I I could hit it with a calm spell uh, whenever they're 120 feet away, see if they I can get them uninterested in us. Once we land, we should get away from the ship and draw them away from it so they don't inadvertently destroy it. I don't want. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be that's stuck actually out here. A, Good call. Those of us with hearts yeah. run this. Yeah. <laughs> if I can get if, if I can get them all in a ten foot burst, I can uh, try and see if I can cast calm on all of them. And, Dude, there's over twenty. You can't. Oh, yeah, you you can get like two or three, but oh, there's over twenty. Far. Yeah. Do we have any area effects of any kind? <laughs> I can stab two of them at once. <laughs> I have silent grenades. <clears throat> and thunder grenades. I could probably handle four of them. Yeah. Well, I got the rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure no one's going to need some buffing at any point right now. It's probably just my time to hurl grenades at these things. Circle is a ship, I assume. Yeah. These things are so fucking tiny on the map. I'm not used to that. Okay. So how big are these, like, size-wise? Small, medium? I don't know. Let me click on it. Uh, They are medium-sized. So, like, the size of a... Oh, oh my God. All right. They have antlers and fangs and heart-ripping. Chicken chicken legs. Yeah, I thought I was a monster. (laughs) La la la, this is where we multiply. Hey, you guys with beating hearts, go be bait. And it is, um, what time of day, like, afternoon? Um, I have three, it's 3 p.m. Uh, can you add Nimue's other token? Because I'm gonna do the thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gonna do the thing. It's it's uh, Nimue, oh, sorry, N- Nia begins to grow and grow and grow until he's Probably large enough, or as large as a horse, and tendrils starts to sprout from from them. So this place your beast? beast on crack, yes. Wow, nice. I love the space beasts. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, pleasure bees are awesome. That one in the in the D and D movie that was cool. The displacer beast. Hmm. I don't watch. I don't remember that one. Which one? Oh, you're missing out. Am I thinking of the wrong monster? Yeah, no, they're in the maze. I don't don't remember the the displacer beast. Oh, oh, the maze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the enemies in the maze. I remember it scrabbling on the floor trying to turn a corner. That's all I recall. I'm trying to actually organize them the way they would be coming at you. They are on... I, I did not realize they were going to be brown on a brown field. <laughs> it's natural. They're really much. hard to see. Is there any way I can, like, add a little symbol to all of them? No, I'd probably have to copy them all over again. Fuck it. Yeah, alright. That's good enough. That's a bunch of them. Yeah, I wish I knew how many. What's going to happen when I add them all to the turn order? Kidding. Not doing that. <laughs> all right, this battle takes weeks. <laughs> They'll have an individual initiative. <laughs> they're turning down like a swarm or something. Oh, no, they're individual monsters. I can run 20 monsters at once. It's okay. But not more than one NPC. Not more than one, well, because I care about them. <laughs> the monsters, I'm like, okay, so these six die. <laughs> okay, and the people. And I'm missing a Kazakh. 
I need the Kazakh too. Okay. And the people. What? Oh god, I'm an idiot. Okay. Try it again. Yay! What? What? Are there actual paratons in there? They are. Fuck, oh, goddammit. Remove paraton. Remove paraton. And Chad is about to get knocked out. Yay. <laughs> Alright, are any of them within 30 feet of me? Um, well, it depends. These things are not strategic. So if you guys want to cast something before they get to them, like that 120 feet thing, that's the like the bare minimum of uh, being able to do something before they get here. So if you, uh, Red Devil, if you want to cast something on something before they get here, fine, and then I'll set them up. Cool. And then, yes, I'm pretty sure they're going to be within 30 feet of Sirlin. All right, well, I'm targeting one I'm of gonna them. I'm going to cast haste on Sterling. Nice. Let me target him. And... Well, thank you. Haste. You got that bitchin' Desert Eagle-looking pistol. Oh, that's not what I needed to do. God fucking damn it. People keep bouncing around while I'm trying to do stuff. Move initiative tracker. Good. All right. Um, the esoteric lore check. I meant to give you details about like weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Sorry, I meant weaknesses and resistances, because those are the same thing. They have nothing for weaknesses. Also, no immunities. These are just like animal things. Okay. Um. They, yeah, they have a way to, like, stalk someone by mimicking their shadow on the ground. It doesn't matter. It's not going to happen in this case. However, it, if somebody, oh, they have to have died. Well, then that doesn't matter. Whatever. If somebody actually dies, they'll eat their heart and heal. There's, like, nothing special about these things. Sir Lynn? What? Oh, they... This one right here <laughs> is terrified of me. It's frightened too. Okay, thank you. Holy damn! How, how many buffs does Sir Lin have? All of them. Uh, I've got Quicken from Haste. I've got Haste. I've got Panache, and then that one just says I have my sword drawn. <laughs> I like those buffs. <laughs> I didn't think of casting buff spells before they got here. Um, it's like we still need three people to roll initiative. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Uh, Edmund says to Kazik, Son, are you going to be useful in a fight? About to find out. No, I need to know. I'm a magic man. Do you need help? What you got? Yeah. <laughs> he, he walked yeah. away from me. <laughs> I'll be okay. It could have been better, though. <laughs> That's how he would interact. Yeah. Uh, oh, he he's still standing next to Kazik, and he yells to Raven, Haste! can make you faster! Just like she did. Yeah. Haste is good. What? And then he turns back to Kazik. What about us, son? You want to kick some ass faster? Sure would. Flexes his claws. Mm. You're a creepy son of a bitch. <laughs> and you have... He casts haste on you.
and he feeds potion after potion to his familiar. That's right. What potions do I have that here? That damn alcoholic. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna give my familiar as well a potion. Uh, it's going to be... Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to give him one of my octopus potions. <laughs> That's good. He needs to make more attacks. Yep. More tentacles. Yeah, more tentacles. We need more shadow tentacles here. Oh, and because he's still your familiar, he still has shadow bat wings. Oh, he still has the wings? I know that it's not necessarily the case. Oh, okay, no, actually it wouldn't be because yeah. it's not the familiar body yeah, anymore. It's, uh, it's, it's the it's, beast body, yeah. Yeah, he can actually hit things. Never mind. I'm sorry. Oh. So how does Chase work when it comes to my character? Like, does that modify situation here? Um, that play in the system of AC or additional action? Yeah, an extra action that can be used to strike or stride. Yeah, and that should if be... It's, if it's standard. So yeah, you have the quickened condition, and that gives you one extra action each round only for striding or striking. Should I cast it on him? Like, will it actually do something? Yeah, I have like the like. So has got these buff icons, and Kazik does it. I'm not sure if the game probably oh, will incorporate um, yeah, that. Yeah, if you see, scroll up till you see where oh there the bottom. Drag that spell effect haste onto yourself. All it really does is pop up a reminder at the beginning of your turn. But he wants the cool little images. Yeah. Frag it. Where it says spell effect, semicolon haste. Oh. There we go. So if I do boop. Oh, neat. Neat. Okay, I gotcha. Then it should pop up top right of your screen. If you hover over it, it tells you what it is. Oh, brilliant. And then if uh, you need to get rid of it, you right-click that up there. Oh, I'm not going to get rid of it. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's forever, baby. <laughs> right? No. For a minute, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever comes faster. Sure. Oh, my God. So many fucking things on my screen. Uh, this, fault is this potion's so complicated. Uh Gonna have to take a picture of it. What? How do I? How do I feed a potion to somebody? Can you not do that? I don't think so. I think you just use it. They don't. I don't. A problem. That's a good question. I think. It, you could just move it to their inventory and then take it from there, but we will look that up. There it is. Okay, can I drag it to the familiar? I have no idea. Nope, I'm just going to say no. I'll just do it in my head. Fuck it. Uh, I think you could probably just click Use Potion and then make sure you have their token selected when you click the the update in the really? from the chat window. I think so. What potion are you given? Um, it is the... One that I can't find now. Okay. Energy breath potion, electricity. I just fucking had it. Okay, so like you see the green wormwood potion in the the window. Sorry. It when you put it in the window, it just has a use button there. So make sure you select the token you want and click use. I think I have one of those. How did that work? I have no idea. It says, yeah, Edmund Hoyle uses green wormwing potion. Then he probably used it on himself. Yeah. Okay, never mind. 
Moderas. Chat window open. OK. So I'm going to move some of them closer so that it gives a better representation of how fucked you are. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way to determine distance um, without physically losing my character outside of counting squares? Uh, yeah, right. hold control and then click drag. Control. Okay. Thank you. Oops. Okay. Then we're going to start. We're on morgue. Oof. All right, so go whenever you're ready. So we're on a land bridge, or we're on a fucking island above us is land bridge, little road yeah, or something is beneath that. It's eroded stone. They're just different mesas, different plateaus of rock. Okay. Because it's a desert. I'm wondering if the height will make a difference here or if there's any strategy that's going to be involved with that. Should we cluster up so we can't get flanked? That's up to you. Like, you guys could have been in a different position. I just dragged you here, so I don't care. Yeah, probably pro self we don't actually want to be. Like Raven's down there on the fucking front ground. <laughs> I think I'm gonna move uh me out to the front lines here and just have it there. Okay, both the guys down below can fly. Yeah, Nemo is uh twenty feet up. Uh, you've read the description for your flying broom? You know how that uh, works? 20 feet per movement, I think, yeah. Yeah, just uh, just to 20 feet, unless I do a special thing and <laughs> it lets me move 40 feet, but that's for long-distance travel. Okay. Yeah, I think you sweep with the bristles. Morgan, do you want suggestions or ideas or anything? Nope. Um, I'll have him right here and just start some In fact, shit. I think uh, right now in the position we're at, uh, it's a large creature and yeah, should have enough distance to attack uh, this one over here. Yep. Right there. There. Wait, you can reach? Yeah. No, because he's a large creature. Well, yeah, but he's on a plateau, and the second plateau is 10 feet down and then 5 feet down from that. So he'd have to run over to hit it. Yes, I have to keep in mind that this is a 3D. Uh, not everything is in the same place, yes. I know it looks like a video game, but yes. it's only <laughs> half a video game. Yes. Famous. <laughs> so Kazik, cat falls down the ledge there, runs up to these atrocities and breathe through his mask train a 30 foot orb of smoke oh oh right around I'm not sure if I can if I have to draw the smoke or if you can do that um but it's basically an obscure that area it's and he can see through it you said it's 30 feet 30 feet orb Uh, Robert, do you know of any way of adding an aura to someone like that? Uh, is this an ability that would have one baked into it? it it's an item. Well, yeah. So yeah, go ahead, uh, post the item. Click uh, use or whatever yeah. it gives you. I don't think so. It is his mouth moving, not hearing it. Oh, I don't know. Can you hear me? Uh, no, right. not you, Robert. Morg. Okay. Oh no, I'm. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> oh, so that's what it is. There it is. It's yep, thirty foot elimination. I got it. Uh, Do you guys see that too? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay. So everybody, there's blind now. I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need one of those soon as well. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Unless Raven and Chad can see through smoke, they're 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 blind, basically. Nope. Blind. All right. So one action movement. Another action I'm, is um. Mask national action. What? I don't know that. I was using using the mask. I'm assuming that's an action. I don't know. Look at your sheet. It's in your. Yeah, vapor's pipe. It says right there. Activate one interact. All right. Yep. Then. Attack. Oh, okay. The smoke dissipates after three rounds, or after one round, if subjected to a strong wind. If um. If Chad really cared, he could get rid of the smoke in front of him. I think he's going to do that. I think he would. That makes sense. Chad doesn't care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just Doritos and video <laughs> games. Attack to hit. Oh, that's helpful. I'm just AD with four damage. Bam. Okay, so you're attacking the one right in front of you on the right? Yep. These are so hard to see. God damn it. I should have made them like bright pink blocks or something. All right. Um,. And you didn't have him targeted, so I don't know if that killed him. Or even hit him. Uh, the oh. 19 did not hit. Alright. So we're gonna miss. Yeah, if you hover over the yeah. guy and you hit T, then you'll target him. Yeah, I, 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 I skipped out. I apologize. No, don't. <laughs> I got and you've got a hasted action. Oh, I do. I expect you not to know how anything works yet, dude. So, with the haste action, if he has four attacks per se per round, the fourth attack will be at the lowest. Yeah, but you've only made one attack, so this if you attack now, it'll only be at max. Yeah, the fourth so will be the same as the negative. Or four. Or four uh, same negative as the third. Yeah, you, you don't go lower than the, the third map penalty. It's second map penalty, minus ten. All right. Gotcha. That's a hit. Same, same number. <laughs> okay, but the 22 hit. Yeah. Oh, okay, same number of damage. Uh, same number, he, yeah, same number of damage. Would he be off guard? In the... Uh, the smoke? No. The concealed does not make him off guard. Okay. Okay, it's concealed. It's not it. <laughs> okay, so you do 17 to him. And... Okay, so I can target him? Yeah. With damage. Wow, that's a lot of hit points. <laughs> Alright, so you slashed open his shoulder... And it, it goes, Beep! and starts growling, because it's a wolf, even though it sounded like a chihuahua. <laughs> and if you're done, hit the arrow for the next person. Bottom Where of the that? action tab. Combat, or the, yeah, yeah. Combat tracker. At the very bottom, intern. Awesome. Intern. Did yeah, the combat tracker popped out? Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. I was looking at the social. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, got it. Nice. Critical I'm hit. Not. 
uh, doesn't need a roll for concealed. No, I I wasn't even trying to roll. I was just okay. <laughs> that doesn't count for anything. It's fine. Yeah, that would have been a very good hit. No, I was just checking to see what they have to actually roll to hit you guys. And your ACs are probably all around 27. 29 if it's uh, at me. And does anybody know off the top of their head how uh, what the role is for concealed? Never mind, I just found out DC five. Okay. Yeah, five. Five for concealed. I think eleven for people. Right. So I need to roll more of them. Fuck. Oh no, I can take that too. Seriously? Okay, a fourth on this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six, so four. So four of them pass the concealed check and are able to hit something. Somewhere. I guess it's mostly going to be Kazik. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um... No, I just realized they can fly. They're covered in smoke. They're animals. They're afraid. They fly up. Fair. Out of smoke. The one right next to him that was already attacked, though, will attack back. So that one will actually roll separately. Okay, Mr. Barry, Don, what can you do? I will antler you. Antler! Nope. Yay. So then, all the bad guys just kind of left the area. <laughs> Good deterrent. I'm sorry, but... Really could use a fireball. <laughs> yep. Why we don't have a wizard or a sorcerer? Yep, just witches. <laughs> Good at fireballs, but don't. Mm. All right. Well, all the bad guys left from that area. <laughs> Jesus. To be fair, tell me that uh, fireball fits a witch like Edmund and Nimoy. But they really don't. Oh, fit them? Oh. Yeah. Not really. Not not story wise. Not at all. Yeah. They're not like I shall summon the elements to destroy thee. <laughs> Okay, so there's like ten paratons perching on the hot air <laughs> on the airship. Ooh, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, I'm just moving people. Um, John, would you please play Chad? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get Chad pulled up here. If he can activate flying or uh -oh. oh fuck. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, Red Devil, remember to you have to roll a flat check uh, when you cast a spell. I forgot to for Edmund, too. Okay. Yeah, because we're in the surge still? Yeah, because you're in the desert, period. Oh, that's right. That's Oh, sorry. We're just going to have that now forever, huh? I mean, yeah, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's more fun! Problems are more fun. Just whenever my familiar just casually turns into shadow and back again, and that's going to be two surges. <laughs> oh, I could suck, yeah. Right. Oh, Chad's, Chad's <laughs> up, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he's going to um, activate, let me see, what do you call it? Activate his uh, kinetic aura. I can remember how to do that. And then he is going to activate his fly power, which lasts for 10 minutes. And that's all he does. 
soon as I can find the right buttons. There we go. Use. Um, next time, let me play him because I don't have to follow the rules. I can just be like, he flies over here and kills something. Oh. <laughs> well, you said you wanted me to play him. Well, yeah, because like I thought that, but then I'm like, but it takes buttons, so yeah. I'll just say what happens because nobody really cares about what he's doing anyway. That's true. <clears throat> it's all you. Never mind. All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Fuck. Name... Chad has to roll a flat check of a DC seven twice. Oh. <laughs> you want me to roll that? Yeah, hold on. I don't, I don't want to do everything. Well, I'm happy to help. Damn it. I'll do it. All right, you you roll the flat checks. Sevens. Oh, Christ. <laughs> One. Of course. <laughs> Is that going to be four checks? Like four effects just simultaneously? No, two. Oh, okay, cool. One in ten. Wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, that's the same exact thing he got before. Did, didn't he get this before? Oh, no, Leaf got this before. Okay. Um, a bunch of pieces of rusted metal float in the air in a 40-foot burst for a minute, giving concealment again. So basically... More concealment. Yeah, did it twice. Oh, wait. you get concealment. You get concealment. No, okay, all right. No, no, no. I'm, 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 GM fiating that one because I just realized <laughs> that the effect is doubled because of the area he's in, and that would create an eighty-foot area of concealment for the entire fight, which would take forever. Yeah, that's just that's just a clock. Yeah, next. let's not do that. This is supposed to be fun, not just boring. Uh, okay. God damn it. All right, well, that's that that that's a lot to keep track of, but uh, it lasts for a minute. Resistance to all damage equal double the service filler. That also delays things. That's all it does. No. Yeah, this is this is a table of no fun. Mm -hmm. Seems that's the same role. Let's keep rolling until we get something fun. Well, it's something that doesn't just yeah. make There's things a good one. take longer. Honestly, yeah. Because it, it's does... already a long combat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. That just creates a 20-foot, in this case, burst of heavy rain. Who cares? Remember that scene from Flashdance? No. John, John, you got to so get She's in, in the that chair room. and the rain falls on her? Yeah. Yeah, just a bucket of water <laughs> just falls on her all at once. Totally. <laughs> Wow, that would actually be a lot of rain right now, yeah, because it's double the effect. All right, thank you for your patience, Nimway, please, and roll your flat oh. check DC seven. Uh, I'm I'm not casting anything yet. So I to roll it. No, the only way you cast stuff. Cool. I'm gonna draw my thunderstone or one of them, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna use my companion's cry to give Nya three actions. And yeah, is what's his speed again? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Speed, where is speed here? I think it's 35, isn't it? Uh, 30. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, it's going to. <sighs> Just jump down here. And he's going to try and hit the one below this guy with one of the tendrils. Oh, yes. Now it's my time to shine, darling. 34. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, that means I get to roll 1d4. Uh, let me just grab a little... Uh, Physical dice here. One. What is one? Uh, Choking? Yeah. Uh, it is also blinded while it is uh, grabbed. Uh, oh which, by the way, uh, 
that was one action to move, another to attack, and actually, uh, and he's gonna spend a, a third action to actually bind uh, the target since uh, he successfully hit. And uh, since I rolled a one and it's blinded, grab them and bind it or blind it. Um, do you want to do his regular attack first or the octopus potion first? Because they share an attack penalty. Uh, I will do the. Hmm. I don't know how to roll the other one. Where? Uh, what's the bonus to hit? Of what? What's the, the actual potion? strike? Like the actual potion strike. It uses his attack bonus. Okay. Then no. Yeah, she's just gonna do the normal strike. Uh, with this tendrils, uh, which is what's a thirty-four? So can I do the damage? Uh, is that a normal or a crit? That's a crit. That's a crit. Yeah. You know, be careful on his spell effect, unusual anatomy. He only has twenty-seven hundred years left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I for <laughs> yeah, forgot to target, but yeah, the the guy below. He got 20 damage uh, bludgeoning. And he's both uh, grabbed or what, what is it? Uh, yeah, grab it is grappled. No, I attempt to grapple. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so then roll the athletics. Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, cool. Yeah, and he's also blinded. Okay, you grab him, he's frightened, blinded, grabbed. Oops, shit. Let me do that. Is there a grab? Yes, he's grabbed. Great. Which also makes him immobilized and off guard. Is that the one that was frightened as well? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that one periton and picked up. <laughs> oh, and he's blinded. Jesus, blinded. Yep. <laughs> he has five penalties on him. I'll be honest, if these things have more hit points than that, each of them, it's gonna be rough. Uh yeah, that's uh let me just do in turn. Uh, I up. Raven, yeah. Well, first thing Raven's going to do is run out of the smoke back towards his friends so he can get to there. Uh, earlier, I did an esoteric lore on these creatures, and they're all the same, so that should still be in effect. For all of them, yeah. <laughs> which is very convenient. I'm going to target yeah. that guy, and I'm going to see if I can get my exploit vulnerability to work right here. Oh, wait a minute. That's esoteric lore. Uh... there. Then I'm going to claw it with my dragon claws. Uh, 32 hit? <laughs> yes, it oh, crit. There it is. I didn't read that. Uh, let me see if this adds the... Uh, Can you please change the name of Michael Jackson Glove? Because every time you attack, I picture... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll call it Sexy Gauntlet or something. <laughs> That's not any better. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it. I don't care. It's fine. Glove of groping. Yeah. <laughs> Fondle fingers. Plus 10. <laughs> I don't think that added it. So it's uh, it's actually th uh, let's see another. Six. I think it adds it when he takes the damage. Oh, does it? Oh, because it's, it's applied to him. Happens. Gotcha. Yeah. On that, I rolled critical, so just take the regular. Oh, you did. Okay. And that much. No, it didn't. Oh, okay, take six more because it's uh, not figuring my esoteric uh, my uh, uh my you know what. 
weakness thingy. Yeah, the weakness thingy. Okay. okay. Let's see. One, two, and he'll do that again with his final action. Okay. 25 to hit. Total damage is 26. He's dead. Nice. And I am done. Nice. All right, Sir Lynn. First of four actions. Um, I have currently Panache, so my movement speed is 40. So I will. <laughs> You're a halfling. I am. I'm a fast fucking short guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, so five, ten, fifteen. 20. Oh, okay. I got my ruler on. I like how if you if you're an elf, you could probably be like a fifty regular speed. Yeah. All right, so I will first action tumble through that guy's space into the middle of all these assholes. Okay. So tumble through. Are you gonna have a like halfling whirlwind attack? Uh, oh man, that'd be awesome. Uh... <laughs> Unleash the inner tiny <laughs> All right, so that guy's off guard to me, but I'm not going to attack him. This, or, yeah, I am going to attack him. You got a 43 to yeah, Whoa. casual casual 43. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that was a nat 20 though. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, that was a 20. Yeah, so if you can apply off guard to that guy to myself, um, while second and third actions, wait, I'm going to cast a spell. The se- what? You are? I am. Uh, through my item, through my uh, Enigma mirror, I'm going to cast Mirror Image. Oh, roll up the okay. C7. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 11. Yay. It's fine. Oof. Good. All right. Which guy so, are you targeting? The guy south of you? South of me, yes. Okay. So put Mirror Image on myself. And from that mirror, I can. Uh, since I have this, what was it? The the beast heart or the uh, what are these things called? Shadow hearts or uh, spell heart? I have it affixed to my armor. Um, after I cast an illusion spell by activating the mirror, choose one ally within thirty feet. I'll make that raven. Uh, that ally gains a single illusory image per mirror image. So, I, <laughs> so you get one. Oh, here, there he's back. Raven, you are back. You get one mirror image. Oh, sorry. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And uh, then fourth attack, I will, or fourth action, I will attack the one to the south of me that I just tumbled through. Hi, yeah. Twenty-seven to hit. Wait, you got a forty-three to hit. Did you roll damage? No, that was my tumble through. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, we had that guy off guard, so it did no, normal hit. Oh, okay. 23 total, slashing and fire. And okay. that he's just, is... He's on fire. End of my... Uh, no, it's it's not. It's just fire damage, not persistent, because I didn't crit. Oh. Okay. On to Edmund. These things have a shitty AC, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Cool, great. You go, Edmund. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It so. just does eight, no roll. Oh, that was 16. It rolled 64. I guess it doesn't show you because it's me. Oh, that's right, know. yeah. Okay, it just says eight. Okay, then he's flat. Eight. Then he's gonna chuck a playing card at it. Uh, 
and damage. <laughs> that did more than the spell. Okay. <laughs> Must have been the Ace of Spades. Yeah, the Death Card. The Ace of Spades. Spades. <laughs> yep. That reminds me of playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater on the PS2. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I remember that song. I love that game. Ace of Spades. I don't know if I had that one, but I definitely had a Tony Hawk game. <laughs> 9, 10, 15, 20, 20. Really? Okay. Uh, Hammy spreads his arms and he has flabby skin connectors like a flying squirrel and they let him go up because he's a flying familiar i don't know yeah. oh, and, so he's a yeah. sugar glider yeah there you go yeah it's sugar cowboy glider. head yeah. on a lasso oh wait that would be a very oh wait line wait hold on i can do this better la, 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 la. Uh, well i guess that's annoying but i could do it so he'll shoot lightning breath at these guys. I will roll reflex saves that I can't click on. What? Oh, there it is. Wow, okay, that's that's awful. Okay, actually one of them failed. So they take what the hell is the damage? Four D six damage. D six. Roll. Really? God damn it, it still doesn't kill it. Well, he does 20 damage to one of these guys and 10 to the other. Okay. He blew lightning out of his face. <laughs> squ squ squirrel spitting that lightning. Okay. Morg. All right, so I don't want to overkill this thing too much. So I'll take one strike at it. See if that kills it. Is that enough? It is still alive. Um, it is still alive. You know, you could faint or tumble through to gain off guard to do 2d6 more damage. I'm not saying you have to. I'm reminding you of how it works. That's all. Yeah. I just kind of want to chow this thing down and move on. Okay. Yeah, these things have a time. little bit more speed than the average uh, cannon fodder. Yeah, there's only 20 of them. He is now at half health. Wolf. All right, well... um. Where's Fate? Where are you? There we go. Oh. Fate ability is. Oh, One sec. And remember also that your jaws, your bite, does a little bit more damage, 2d6 instead of 2d4. And it has, it's not agile, but you could use the bite first and then make claw strikes, so you could do a little bit more damage, on average, like two points. 
And also, as a rogue, be thinking of ways to get him off guard. Yeah, that's kind of thing. He's like close to dead. Um, trying to find my faint ability. That's a deception yeah. versus perception, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, is it actions or skills? Or is it just a roll? Yeah, it's, a, it's an action. Yeah, you you, you uh, just roll the skill for it, though. Okay, on the carrier sheet. Or on your desk, I don't care. Deception skill. Randomly produce a number and then add your deception skill to it. Yes, deception versus perception DC. Deception then. Come on. DC's 23. Alright, so in that case, let me try this. Oof. That's a D12. That is a D12, I'm sorry. I drew a D12. Nice. Still have terrible. <laughs> One more. You know, you can roll um, on the skill sheet, uh, on your character sheet on the skill page. Just click the d20 that's next to the skill name. Better? A little better. You rolled a two. That failed. (laughs) <laughs> well, <laughs> no more attack then. I'll take a bite. There's third attack. I'll do 15, you kill it. Uh, you only need to do map minus five on that one. You've only attacked once, right? Yeah. So he oh, twice. then, then you're out he, of... he, he, he attacked and then he fainted and failed and then he attacked again. Yeah, so you only have map minus five on that. And since it's your second attack, you should have done a claw instead of the bite. Because you subtract one less from that because it's agile. Yeah. Claw is better as a second attack. Okay, so roll claw. I'm lost here. Well, no, you would keep the same die roll, but then it would be a different multiple attack penalty. So instead of minus 10, it'd be minus 8. Well, it's it should be minus 4, because he's only attacked once already this round. Why is it showing 2? Yeah. Oh, because that's when he clicked. Okay. No, it should be minus 4. You're right. It should hit. So what damage are you rolling here? Claw or... Yeah, claw. There we go. Seventeen. It is at a quarter of its hit points. <laughs> Almost. It... Only thirty-three more to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a twelve. Guys, no, that's been only thirty-three more peritons to go. <laughs> Oh, these things have like 30 HP to have more than that. Then. Like 50. We need fireballs. Uh, I mean, I guess I... Nemo and Edma can try to make potions of fireball or something. I don't think that's a thing in this system. No, it's not, but we can invent something. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Oh, um, more. do you have one more action, or are you done? No, he attacked, faint, attacked, so he's done. Actually, it's, isn't that no, what this quest is about? Chases, We're well. going to get the non-magical fireballs with the pyronite? Yeah, okay, oh, you are so, hasted, so you have one more attack. Mm. This one is the map minus 10 or map minus 8 if you use the claw. Yeah, because you're hasted, so you get one more action. 
I'm curious. Is this dream down for anyone, or <laughs> oh my is it just God. me? <laughs> what? It's just dream down for anyone, or am I just having problems with my tablet? I think it's you. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's up for me. You rolled a one. Okay, miss. I. He drives his hand into the floor and breaks off his nails and cries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the Peritons are next. Uh, advance the tracker if you would, please, Mark. Come on, you little bastards. Oh my god. What the fuck? He stacked a bunch of them. I know, because I can't see them. <laughs> okay. This fight's gonna take a minute. Nah. It's one of the one of them Deus Ex fights. So out of character, can I ask like how many hit points these fucking things have? I was thinking a lot lower. Sixty. <laughs> okay. They're fairly low level, but they're uh, in the adventure. I think it was only planned to have eight. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay's like, fuck that, double it, plus four. I mean, we've proved very much way too capable for anything that was thrown at us. So, Typically, if things have high hit points, it means they have low AC, though, typically. Yeah, they do. It's 21. Yeah, I watched Slytherin. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. You guys remember 175 hit points limes? I do. <laughs> That hits more, or er, Kazik. God, sorry. With what? It hits you with an antler. Total. That's not what I meant to do. Jesus, I already rolled the hit. Does a d12. <laughs> you take 17. Ooh, and it's got deadly. <sighs> Shit. So how does damage work in? I don't know how to take damage on Foundry. Is that just fast? Uh, select in? your token and click the damage button below the damage number in the chat window. Oh, okay. I have to do nope. math. So click on your token. Make sure your token is selected. Yep. In the chat window where it says 17 damage, click the button that says damage right below that. The chat window. Oh. That work? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> God damn. This is literally a fucking video game, guys. All right. I, I'm learning. I'm learning. That's kind of cool. Everybody's around. Oh, I ain't scared. I'm I am. Scared. I am flanked, but I'm not scared. The bomb missions. They are also chewing on the airship and battering down the door, the the rear door, mm. and you hear broken glass. We've just replaced that windshield. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. On the bright side, everyone's probably going to be dead. So once we kill everyone here, it's going to be ours. <laughs> Our airship. Good point. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to roll randomly. How many of you are there? Plus NPCs. Ours. Oh, I can roll a bunch of these successes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll dice. Okay, so the first attack is at Sir Lin, as well as the third attack. <sighs> and two attacks are Edmund. Wonderful. And one attack is Chad, and one attack is Nimue. These are just the ones that hit. Okay, um, I've got two. Uh, I've got three images up. So I need two oh. D4s. 
Do I roll that or do you roll that? I don't know. Why don't you roll it? All right. Uh, so with if all three images remain, one in four chance. Uh, roll it hits if this is a one. It's not. So second attack uh, hits. So I'm down to two images. Oh, so if one of them did hit Nimoy, she's going to use her reaction. Use her okay, and I'm sorry, Robert, did either of them hit you then or not? The second one hit, yes. Yeah. No, okay. no, it, did, it hit the image, not me. So the image is destroyed, no damage. Okay, thank you. Please, Red Devil. Yeah, uh, the one that hit me having rolled a DC 20 and 42 save. I'm using Gaping Flesh. It's a Fortitude save? Because they grossed yeah. out? Yeah. As uh, viscera and black liquid just sprays all over him. Okay. What happens? It's a fumble. Oh. Uh, he is sick and two. And he cannot recover the... He can't, it can't recover from the sickness condition while it is adjacent to you. Well, then it's going to be sickened until it dies. <laughs> Second, second. Jake, sorry to bookkeep you, but did any of the ones that attacked me roll a critical failure? Because I can repost them. Yes, one of them did. Okay, which which one should I target? The uh, I don't know. Any of West. Them. West. <laughs> West. Pick <laughs> one. All right. Uh, this is yeah, opportune repost. Just a melee strike. Okay. And from the one that hit you, you take 13. Okay. Uh, no, it, my, it just gets my um, uh, mirror image. I'm sorry, yes. I Unless missed... it was a crit, then I take damage. But if it's just... No, crit... it's not a crit, no. All right, so oh. here's critical damage on the one to the west. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he is lit on fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, thank you, then he dies. <laughs> he makes a bonfire. <laughs> it's trying to hit you, and you just, like, stab it in the head. <laughs> oh, my God. Now that's what it gets for trying to hit you. That wasn't even a finisher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a reactive strike. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nimue uh, got hit then, and yep. uh, she takes, fuck, what was it? 13, 13, 13 damage. Okay, cool. Okay, and two, three, Edmund, Edmund, Chad, so that's all NPCs. And then the two critical hits on Chad and Nimue. Vertical? Uh, yeah. Uh, How do I do minuses and pluses for ice cream? Just. Uh, you can't do minuses and pluses because I did not add that mod because it didn't work properly. I so see. you have to manually enter it. I'll... Yeah. Okay. Okay. How much did Chad take? Uh, 20. Because I don't want to roll. And Nimue takes 22. Yeah, this is a bad situation. And Edmund takes 26. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. <laughs> uh, all right. Chad, that's, I'm doing that. Hold on. Raven, where'd you come from? Hmm? Oh, how'd I get down there? Huh? Uh, oh, no, never mind. They just moved in around us. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes, awesome. Chad flies back to the airship because he realizes that the people there may need assistance. Oh, good thinking. Hey. <laughs> good noble Chad. Yeah. <laughs> then we go.
Red Devil, you thinking? Okay, no, uh, I didn't know it was my turn. Uh, yeah, uh, Nemo is going to use one action to use Battle Medicine on herself uh, to treat her wounds. Ah, uh, you're not hurt that bad. <laughs> Bunch of babies. Uh, she's going to... Yeah. Just a free plus 10. No. Should I do it? No, I'll do a 20. To treat wounds. Uh, I'm going to use my own body, so I got a plus one. <laughs> use my own body. Yeah, you use the, the her own stitches and whatnot to just stitch yourself up. I'm just going to take my foot off and put it in my abdomen wound, and now <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, that's one action. Uh, using two actions. Wait, wait, can I use it multiple times? Uh, can I use Companions Cry repeatedly? Let me see. I don't know. I'll check. I do read all the books. I do watch a lot of videos. I listen to them. I study. I don't know all the abilities. Yep, I can just use it. So I'm going to spend two actions. Companions Cry gave uh, Nia three actions again. And uh, once it is his turn... He is going to give me a 20-foot emanation aura around him as he's going to use a tenebrous roar to try and demoralize all of the little guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. This great shadow creature on the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how does that work? Does it uh, affect everything? 20-foot emanation and it... Uh, only affects, let's say, each foe. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, what's the save DC? Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I have to demoralize. Oh, oh, okay. So, I'll just roll, but just yeah, roll. it's whatever, whoever I catch in a 37 to whoever I catch in a, uh, an emanation of 20 foot. Oh my god. And that's okay. a critical, so everyone is frightened Damn. too. <laughs> what ability is that? You can just demoralize everyone? It's just a thing that, uh, uh. It's sort of yeah, phase. I think it's it, it it's supposed to be. Uh, Jake put it there as an ability from another animal. <laughs> it it did not account for a large sized creature, did it? I yeah. I think it didn't account for the fact that my my creatures. my characters my Nia's main stat is charisma. Okay, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. Wow. Yeah, that was of very effective. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And since he still has one action left, she's going to just do a bind and try and grab one. Yeah, he uses bullshit. It's super effective. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the 20 plus 17. 33 to just grab one nearby. Just say the the... The one next to the one I grabbed, so got two grabbed, and I need to roll a d4 to see what special effect happens. Okay. Okay, buddy. it. Uh, this one is also blinded. <laughs> um, can someone else give me more hands to like <laughs> <laughs> add conditions to creatures? Will it let us? I don't. I don't think nope. we can. <clears throat> Mm. I know, I was being sarcastic. Well, I wasn't really being sarcastic. It'd be nice, but I knew you couldn't. I knew you couldn't. And at the end of their next turn, you get to change them all by one. Uh huh. I'm just going to be like, no, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Scared them to death. Oh, I like the idea. <gasps> Uh, 
What? No, god fucking damn it. Oh my god. Sorry, just a little bit of lag that's really pissing me off for some reason. Because lag always pisses me off, that's why. Okay, Frightened 2. Yay, they're all scared of, out there of their fucking minds. Nice. So maybe that was a powerful ability. <laughs> um, okay, so what else happened besides healing yourself and scaring the whole battlefield? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna just grab one of them nearby. And, oh, and, blind it. Oh. Yeah, he's, uh, he grabbed it and uh, also blinded it. Okay, but which one is it? I'm sorry. Uh, just this one above here, the above the okay. one with the, all the debuffs. So, all the yeah. debuffs. So yeah. He has grapple too, and all of those frightened. Oh my god! And immobilized, and this is so weird and silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next yeah thingy. Yeah, Raven. 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 All right, um, the one behind me. I'm going to target it, or to the right of me. Okay. Spin around and slash it with my claws, uh, since right. he doesn't like being flanked. That makes sense. Critical hit. Uh, so that's going to be plus... Uh, oh, wait. And I'm sorry, the one to the right, east? Yes. Okay. Oops, hang on, let me roll the crit. This is going to actually have 12 additional on it. Okay. 42. My lucky number. Casual 42. Okay, it's an 18. From full yeah. health. Well, let me just do a follow-up swing. See what that does to it. Misses it. Let's see, one, two. I got one more action. I'm going to spend my third action seeing if I can get that one behind me. And I am unsuccessful. That is All correct. Done. That is unsuccessful. Sirloin? <laughs> Sirloin. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm looking. <laughs> it's that joke. Okay, never mind. All right, I found it. Never mind. Can't do that. All right, I will attack. I got four moves. Attack the one to my mm -hmm. south. Um, you can remove off guard from him. He's no longer off guard to me. Okay. Strike. 23 hits. Four twenty six. Is he still alive? Oh, fucking Christ. I really need two screens for this. <laughs> Just like the character sheet takes up half of the screen. Yeah. There is a pop out module, but it doesn't work very well. It works, but it, it doesn't work for the person that's using Foundry on their own computer. It works through the internet by using the mm. web browser. Oh, okay. He's at 26, so it is at 11. <sighs> um, all right, I'll tack again. All right, 21 should put him down. Yes. Then third attack, I will uh, tr tr uh, target one to my left, doing an impaling finisher. So if I hit, I hit the guy behind him as well, <laughs> assuming they have the same AC. Yeah, they do. That's such a silly ass ability. Yep. How the hell is that with, a, with what, a broadsword? <laughs> it's, it's a pretty pretty short sword, but it's a long short sword. <laughs> it's a long, long short sword. It's a long right. short sword. I am rolling map minus eight. Though. That's okay. That's fine. I wonder uh, how many creatures oh. Mia can restrain 
simultaneously. <laughs> um, and then hasted action. Uh, let's find out if these guys have reactions. Uh, hmm. All nine of them. <laughs> all six of them. I will. Where's a good place to stand? Go down this way. And tumble through this guy's space to give fl- flanking to Raven. Can I? Or who am I standing on? Can I stand there? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. I'll just move Nia off. In fact, I'm just gonna remove okay. him from the board yeah, for a moment. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let me try attempt my tumble through. And that one's almost dead. Yeah. And now it's dead. Uh, so yeah. yeah, then it's off guard, right? Yeah, it's off guard to, to me. Just to you. Um, off guard right, anyway, it's before. Yeah, yeah, it might as well not until the end of my turn. So it's it's uh, doesn't. But matter. it's still flanks. It's still so off that, guard. Yeah, it's still off guard from flanking. So that's the end of my turn. Just did that to give me my panache back. Okay. Uh, Edmund casts a spell on Hammy, and he uses another card like it's right next to him actually technically it's five feet away okay nope that was easy done now hammy yay uh what the hell why not come on open You know, haste kind of sucks on a swashbuckler. Why? Because once I once I use the finisher, I can't attack again. So it it kind of forces me to use my finisher at the tail end of my as, turns with the as a finisher. You can also technically you have to move if you want to move. Yeah, I, I can. But yeah, I, I got. I, I I know this is like first world problems, <laughs> but <laughs> I was gonna say like. I have one extra attack, and I have to save my big ass damage for the last attack. Come on. Yeah, no, that's the thing is that my I, my my big attack I have to use the the map minus eight on. Oh, okay. I no, I got gotcha. you. Okay, forty eight, sixty eight. Okay. Uh, Emmy, let's list this like ear-piercing, tiny little squeak. And everything around him takes 68 damage. Whoa. 68? <laughs> yes, 68. What the fuck? Squeak is death. Your fireball. Yeah. How, what the fuck did he use? Silent but deadly. Um, that was Thundering Dominance. I might <laughs> consider giving that to... I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> It's an occult spell, so that was my only second level occult spell I could take, but it seemed worth it. Thundering Dominant. All right, I'll take it. Second level spell to 68? Yeah, I was just thinking. Like, no, normally, they... it's, normally it's second level. This one is uh, at third level, memorized at third level. So it does 4 Still. It does 4d8. <laughs> yeah, in a huge radius. Okay. Uh, what the hell? Okay. Well, he, he... Okay. The hamster's mm-hmm. saving us, don't worry. About it. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> Does it also technically target the frightened ones above him? Or no? Um, it's a 10 foot radius. Whoa. I thought it was a 5 foot. That's oh, ridiculous. My. 10 foot that radius, is. 68. <laughs> that is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Yay. Okay. It's so a little squirrel, squirrel that's like a, an ultra dog whistle. Yeah. Oh, it hits Edmund. Oh, well. <laughs> Worth. Oh, my God. Whoa. That one took I'm, I'm sure Edmund's used to getting hit by that. <laughs> Actually, well, he cast it on him, so yeah. probably not that used to it. And they, are all, they all increase their frightened value by one. Oh, my God. 
Okay, will uh, uh, Nyarthalotep, Nyarthalotep, uh, no, Nyarlothotep. Is that Nyarlothotep. it? Nyarlothotep. Nyarlothotep, thank you. Okay. He needs to make a will save as well. Sorry. Uh, how dare you? Type is required. What? I don't know. 29. Uh, okay. He takes half damage and he's not frightened. So he takes 13. Okay, so he like made people afraid and did a little bit of damage, but he finished off two of them. That was awesome. May not may not have done much to Nya, but he's royal at this stuff. Oh my god, I have to make them all frightened now. <laughs> oh my god, can I just say they're all frightened? Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, so he has... What, was that a one action or two actions? It should have been two actions. It's, it, usually spells are two, yeah. Uh, no. The spell took two actions, but then the familiar can take one action to roar. So it took a total of three actions, but it was a mini fireball, so it's nice. Yeah. Okay, so it had one action he has... Oh, actually, that's the only action he had. Alright, cool. Done. Yay. Mark. All right. So, see how this plays out. We're going to tumble behind. This work quick. Quick. Am I doing that right? Then, boop. I think you still have to make your, uh, uh, what is it, acrobatics check? I tumble, click on tumble through on the chat card. It should pop up uh, a card and click acrobatics in there. Wait, what was that? Tumble through. In the chat card that popped up, click on where it says yeah. tumble through. Yep. Oh, okay. Right. Then click acrobatics in there to roll. There we go. I got gotcha. right. you. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> And then she was fucking things head off. Yeah, uh, if wait for Jake to mark it as off guard for you. I'm looking. I don't know where the fuck he is. There he is. <laughs> there, off guard. Now she was fucking head off. Dang. There you go. Oh. Now you're doing great stuff. That's going to be a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. I just roll critical damage. Is that correct? Is it something <laughs> like uh, 52? Uh, oh, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah. It turns into fucking dust. Oh my god. That's, that's that would have killed a well. You just shred it in, in tiny little pieces. Yeah, I mean, there's like pieces of it everywhere. There are wings on either side of it. You might be picking antler out of your fingernail. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful Yeah, thing. that's definitely dead. <laughs> Good. All right. So that's two actions. I have two more. Yeah. Move. And it's flanked. This one right here. Yeah, it's Ooh. super frightened and everything. It's you. Yeah. That that one that's in front of you, it's almost dead too. So it is off guard because it's fucking blind and grabbed. Yeah. Or the the grabbed is one off guard. And flanked. Yeah. And flanked. Oh yeah, and flanked. Okay. Blinded, flanked. I yeah, grabbed everything. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Twenty okay, hits. Yeah, Twenty hits. I was like. 20 should hit. Why wouldn't it hit? I didn't even look at the math. It said hit. Yeah. 
That's dead. That's dead. dead. There we go. Killed two in one turn. Good. Wow. Cool. Yeah, buddy. You did just as well as the squirrel. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. squirrel powers over here. I like how the biggest contributors to to this battle are a squirrel and a cat. That's yeah, funny. The pets. <laughs> okay, so you guys can't see what Chad's doing next. <laughs> Uh, you said next, it's Nimue, actually. I said next. Oh. Mr. Smartass. Mm, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, there are no... Actual, no, yep. Nimue... Nimue, Nimue, Nimue is... Let's see how far this is. Nope, that's 25. Yep, I don't want to destroy the ship. I don't want to hit. I cannot use my grenades. <sighs> yes, please don't grenade the ship. No, I... I, I yeah. Grenades. Use no, grenades. I'm going to kill someone. <laughs> Just means a new character. Just Chad, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> All right, so time for spellcasting then, I suppose. Uh, Nemoe will use two actions to turn into her aberrant form. <laughs> As, yeah. Wait, you weren't already an <laughs> aberrant form? Uh, even like. like it gets yeah, it gets super worse. Aberrant. Yeah. Um, not not uh, not that I'd mind them getting skipped, but did the Peritons go? Oh crap! Oh. You deleted the one that I had initiative, did. probably. Fuck. Okay, cool. thank you. Ah, that's the position it was in. <laughs> good, good work. <laughs> Our rules lawyer both ways. So the nope. Peritons are doing something right now? <laughs> what? Yeah, the Peritons had their turn before you. They, it's just they fell yeah, out of the initiative okay. order. Sorry to break your flow. It's yeah, I should, yeah. I mean, it would probably be best if you're going to be doing AoEs or multiple attacks to have the Peritons go first anyway, because then you get more targets. Yeah. Okay. Move, attack, 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 attack. Uh, three, four, five, six paratons are going to try to eat a squirrel. <laughs> ah! Oh no. It's like a riddle. How many paratons does it take to eat a squirrel? <laughs> six, apparently. Um, there are still three Peritons standing on top of the uh, airship, not really doing anything, just sort of clawing it. Yeah. Although it probably doesn't matter because these things can fly, but they're most 20 feet in the air. Well, it does matter because the one of the Southwest can only hit either you or Sir Lynn. Right. Well, fuck nuggets. Okay. You know, this is pretty easily clearing out the NPCs that are on the airship. <laughs> God, what? They're gonna write stories about <laughs> this cruise from <laughs> hell. <laughs> no, because there have to be survivors to write I'm stories. the same thing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move the dead dude. Over here, there are corpses. Just remember there are corpses in places. I should have installed that mod that skips the movement. It's just pointless. Um, so, Chad is getting beat down pretty well. Um, let's say that he... 
No, 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 sorry, it needs to be another round. Oh, and the... This emanation thing needs to go away. How do I remove this? Is it a tile? It must be a tile. No. Huh? No, it's a template or a major. I always have trouble getting rid of those. Uh -huh. Boop. Thank you. And now I'll go back to my other computer where I have just a bunch of random dice rolls. I'm going to say there are that many. Stop. Whoa. Whoa. That's horrible. Okay, so one on Sir Lynn fumbles. All tacky. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, which one? Uh, one that's fully healed still, I guess. South of you? South of you, let's say. Sure. <laughs> hey, you might still kill it in one hit. And then fucking Edmund. Uh, okay. Crit. Get crit. <laughs> this is steep. Uh, yeah, it's so bad. The whole, I don't get that 46 precise, but I do get that because it's not a, Oh, I had my finisher button check. Sorry. Close. Critical. Uh, that looks good. 42. Not quite a, not quite a one hit. Still good damage. Lots and lots of damage. Yeah. Now, like, and he's on fire. <laughs> yes, of course he is. I think the real... Right. Sorry. Huh? I was just going to say, sorry, that was the, the fumble gets me. Anybody else hit me? Uh, no. Because I have two, two mirrors. No, I hit Edmund, and on everyone else, I got under a 10. Cool. Jeez. Well, I mean, not for Edmund, but... <laughs> he's kind of suffering now. He's at 37. Mm. <laughs> I mean, he can heal himself with all the potions he has. <laughs> oh, drink a potion about it. <laughs> we don't care what you're doing. Just heal yourself. Yeah. Um, uh, John, you yeah, in about five or ten minutes. Okay, you guys are doing really well on this, and you're going to kill them all. So I'd like to say that you do, and... Nobody here is going to die, because, like, they can't do that much damage, and you have healing. That's kind of unlimited. Um, so what happens is uh, the captain gets taken off of the airship by Chad. He just, like, flies off with her. And the Peritons kill everyone else except um, the uh, one of her crew who barricaded himself in the, uh, himself in the engine room. So the guy that I did surgery and saved this thing. Yeah. <laughs> you did uh, it. Yeah. Well, even, the... even, even Lucky got killed? The uh, got that. No, no Lucky that. was also but... locked in a closet. Lucky was yeah. in a closet. Yeah. He is lucky. Yeah. <laughs> he's drained too, but he's lucky. <laughs> yeah, it, it would probably make sense that at a certain point of killing a number of these, the rest would flee. Uh, so... Or would they all be here to fight to the death? I guess it depends on what edition. I like the original one where they are creations of evil and they don't stop. They they are brainless and want to eat your hearts. That's all they care about. Yeah, so we've heard they look like they were made like basically like Nemo except without Yeah. yeah. No, their origins is they were made by a demon trying to destroy the world. I see. Okay, then they fight to the yeah. death. Yeah. Then they're killed. They're deft. Oof. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a couple spell slots because I wanted. I was gonna use some stuff. Okay, uh, one of the Peritons got to frighten four. Wow. <laughs> Are you still using Everett four? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use it because I was gonna use it. Okay, I get that. Uh, let's see. Uh, probably a needle of vengeance to keep someone at uh, with more frightened there for longer. 
and yeah, it's just probably that should be it because just the aberrant form alone. Yeah, and you attack shit and eat shit, and so does Nayar Lafotep. Yeah, he's just gonna keep grabbing and, and frightening because he can just keep roaring. This is insane. Okay, so all of you are safe. Uh, you have a lot of corpses around you. And uh, the airship is, like, kind of infested now with these guys, so you have to go back there and kill them there, too. <laughs> I have a question. Are these guys antlers, like, normal reindeer antlers? Like, in what way? Like, I don't know. i just just curious, because just for the hell of it, Nias just uh, uh, Nemo is just gonna saw them off and use them for medicine properties. Medicinal properties. Because uh, ground up antlers is a uh, steroid. Yeah, basically, yeah. I thought it was an aphrodisiac. In uh, well, yeah. I mean, I I could just look it up, uh, but I, yeah, she's just gonna use that for. I for could be stuff. wrong. I thought I thought I saw some news stories years ago about sports players use like tough and ground up antlers because antlers are like the fastest growing um, cartilage or whatever they are on any any mammal. Oh, weird. Okay. Are, are we using real life stuff for? I mean, we can do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, a periton's a parrot a periton's heart can be used for some sort of magic, but I don't remember what it was, so I guess I'll probably just say shadow magic, because it has a shadow ability. I can ex try and extract a couple of those. Yeah, there's plenty. Yeah. Just shove them all in your bag. You know you want to. Uh, no, he yeah. has those preserving jars. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Uh, what was that, 11 preserving jars? I don't yeah. know what's yeah. in the sheet. Yeah. You look at them. I think there it was 11 because there, there were 11 of everything. Wow. I didn't yeah. remember there were 11 of those. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to be cheesy. I'm sorry. But it's easier for me for story and also more fun to say that there's holes all over the airship. Yeah, we the crashed. Thing. Yeah. It's like a very subtle crash. And one of them even, like, crawled into the engine case because it's stupid. And now they're just... <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, wiped this self into the fucking engine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, in theory, you could still repair it because you guys are super-powered. And it's weird. And I want Chad to die now because he can fix the ship. <laughs> you know what? Chad doesn't come back. Chad and the captain are gone. Because <laughs> I can have them captured and you can find them later. All right. They're, they're, <laughs> they go in a lope. So you have one crew member and Lucky, the saboteur. I hope they know how to fly this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a crafting check to fly, right? That's a captain? Yeah, that's one option. Yeah, that's oh, fine. We'll like, Nimue can fly it. Don't worry about it. A little worried. About it. <laughs> Don't worry. About it. It. I'm the new captain. <laughs> Is you, know captain how to you know how to navigate. Don't worry What'd about say? it. <laughs> What'd you say, John? Oh, I don't know. No, is is the captain dead? Did I did I miss that? No, I'm saying that Chad ran off with the captain, then got captured. Oh, oh, so they're both yeah. okay. Well, thanks <laughs> for nothing, Chad. You're welcome. You guys go get married or do whatever you want to do. And no, it is totally conceivable in this area because of the kinds of creatures that are here that they could have easily just been grabbed and put in a bag. They got take. grabbed by that hill giant. Or oh my god, there's, right? there's a lot of poison here. Honestly, I'm, I'm just, just glad I got to use uh, Neon's metal for him. <laughs> Uh, so that uh, roar was um wow. Oh yeah. If you want to nerf it, I'm fine with it, but yeah. Sorry guys, but I gotta make like a raven and fly. No that <laughs> that's fine. We're pretty much done. We're wrapping okay. up. You're not missing right. anything. Bye everybody. Yeah. Bye.
Goodbye. Bye. Next week. And why don't we end the stream here and then we'll like wrap up little stuff afterward. Okay. Thank you everybody for joining us. Um, come back with us. Uh, come back to us next week where we try to find our lost party members or fuck them. I don't know. <laughs>